All right, so I've just woken up at 7 o'clock in the morning and day one of phase three season of Discovery is in the books. And, you know, it was not a day without some, I mean, I guess controversy. Yeah, it was controversial. Let's just throw it out there. There's a lot of spice behind day one with the uh, new edition of the Nightmare Incursions and as far I haven't read it too much, but the Reddit is just on fire from what I've been told. I was serenading my group yesterday with some of the angrier takes that I was finding in the moment as they were developing on Reddit about the nightmare incursions. And uh, one of my guests here was on the fucking floor in tears laughing at some of these spicy, spicy posts that people had drafted for the rest of the world to read. Um, but it's definitely a topic that's well worth you know, really diving into and having a discussion about, you know, not only whether it's a good or bad thing, but also how it falls in line with the ethos behind SOD. And, you know, I, I would like to think that I've had a bit of time to chew on it now, and I think I'd, I'm pretty much settled on a position myself. So let's get stuck into it and introduce the guest. Ubiquitous, mate. How are you? You survived a day with me yesterday. I'm fantastic. My sales of enthusiasm are still quite full. I'm very, very glad to hear it. Uh, we're also joined by our old buddy, OG Pube Sniffer. How are you, mate? Doing good, doing good. Thanks for having me. Happy to have you, mate. And we're also joined by Crudef, my friend. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Thanks for having me again. Good to have you. And Shagger, welcome back. Hello, hello. Boys, let's get into it. Ubiquitous, I'll start with you. Um, look. Here's the drill for everyone who isn't quite sure. Um, the Nightmare Incursions were live, obviously, as soon as the game went live. And it was... I don't want to be that guy who does a victory lap, but I kept saying to you boys, you're fucking overthinking this thing. Like, everyone was drastically overthinking this thing. And they're like, what is it? What is it? How are we going to be able to engage with it? What's going on? And I was just like... I was on Scotty's podcast the day before going like, dickheads, you're just going to click on... You're like, walk through a portal... It's going to be a different color palette of a zone that we know. It's just going to be like quest questing, like regular questing in like a, a new zone, quote unquote new. Um, and it's not going to be that wild of a difference. And as far, far as I'm concerned, that's exactly what it fucking was. Um, so it was, it was interesting in that, you know, the Alliance and the Horde poured through the portal. Once you do the introductory quest, you could go on in. Well, I think you could go in anyway. Um and figure out how this thing worked with the the bevy of quests that we could get and you know we'll talk about the 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 system how the system works with sharing it with your friends and how it fills up your bags and everything can get a little bit annoying to be somewhat euphemistic um but for all intents and purposes it was an experience that we're largely used to it's just go and quest in this area okay boss um the problem came from when people started noticing the experience and the gold that were attached to these nightmare incursions and um you know because of the amount of quests that you could do and you basically just run laps of this place it became an obviously incredibly efficient way to level and so you know just depending on what speed you were going at even if you were going slow the experience was sizable you know you're getting about in the uh, Ashenvale level 40 nightmare incursion, you were getting about 7,700, 7,800 experience per quest turn in. And if you were there with a group, with a five-man group, like they kind of encouraged, you were probably turning in about 10 quests at a time, maybe about 10 quests an hour, 10 quests every 45 minutes, whatever it might be at your own rate. And so it was, you know, ranging between anywhere between 100 to 200k odd maybe even more if you're a gun experience so people word got out early that like hey boys like get out of those that dungeon grind group get your asses over to the nightmare incursion that's where it's at and you know slowly but surely we started to see it fill up it got very very busy and yeah um the additional thing on top of that was the gold that came with it so I'm sure my group was like many other groups that, that were in there. And we'll, we'll talk about the whole, you know, who gets to play on day one and the, the, the release timing and everything and the rise of the sweat lords and how angry people are about people that play on day one of a fucking MMO release. But um, 
The gold that was attached to it was initially one gold 70 per quest turn-in. So the, the additional talking point on top of that is Blizzard's decision to do the 50% experience buff and 300% gold buff that's sitting there for everyone from the first second of phase three. That's that's obviously just sitting there bumping up all the figures that you're getting. So that one gold 70 obviously times it by three, times it by about the 10 quests that you're turning in every hour or so leads to a bit of a, an obvious waterfall of gold. So it took us about an hour and a half before one, one person in our party said, uh, boys, have you seen how much gold we've made in the last hour or so? And we went, holy shit. And, you know, we were going to be there doing this anyway for the leveling experience, but then the gold all of a sudden just became this huge added bonus. And we, I said, after about two or three hours of us doing this, I was like, they are going to nerf this gold. Like, I feel like that's a bit wonky. Um, and lo and behold, about two hours later, they hot fixed it and it was cut by about half down to 92 silver, I think it was per turn in. And then an hour later, cut down again to 44 silver. So we got down to 44 silver from a gold 70 and that's where all hell was raised on the subreddit and everything as people lost their fucking minds about the people that played you know, through the night, if you're in Europe or, you know, through the night, I guess, if you're in America as well, or, you know, took the day off work, if you're in the oceanic region and experienced the benefit of what some are terming as an exploit. And we will get right into the use of that term as well as we discuss this topic. So that's the controversy. And, and I just want to say as well off the bat, guys, sorry, I know this is a large opening monologue and I apologize to my guests for making you wait to speak, but I really just need to lay this all out there because um, I have to say that, you know, me, the host, is one of those players that benefited from this thing, you know, I, I and you guys, I'll ask you, the listener, to, you know, take that into account. And, and no doubt you will regardless as you hear my take on things and people might be, oh, well, of course you think it's okay, Josh, you're the fuck, one of the fuckwits who benefited from it. If that's your take, then then that's fine. So be it. But we'll, we'll go into all of that, that. Anyway, now that I've set the platform for what happened, we've got a larger discussion about nightmare incursions. Are they good or bad? Should they be tweaked any further in any way, shape or form? How do we feel about the leveling experience in phase three? You know, it, we're, um, you know this versus the old meta of dungeon grinding and and. We're just going to have a larger conversation about what leveling should be, quote, you know, in massive air quotes there through this game. So ubiquitous, let me throw it over to you, mate, and just say, now that I've set the platform, um, I, I feel I know you're going to want to rant in a million directions. So it's kind of on me to to point this in specific directions as we take this conversation down one point at a time, mate. Uh, let's start really, really simple before we get to the controversy. Let's get to the the nice the nice fluffy points. Um, we worked we walked into the nightmare incursion, saw it for the first time. This is new content in season of discovery. This you know experimental t spin on vanilla World of Warcraft. Did it get your thumbs up or thumbs down, and why? Um, I thought it got a thumbs up from me because, I mean, the alternative to our reality, which was our plan was to go to ZF and dungeon grind all the way up. And instead we were pleasantly surprised to have found something that wasn't that, that was in the beginning only just as rewarding because, you know, you have to learn all the quests and the routes and stuff. And then, you know, it's cool to see 600 people here instead of just four guys inside a dungeon. Yeah. So, and there were people everywhere. Yeah. I would like to add that, you know, we took the risk of, oh, well, a grand tweeted that it won't be a waste of our time. Let's go see the new thing. We deviated from our plan of, no, we're going to go to dungeons because that's what they said is the best thing for the last 20 years. And we were, to upset people, rewarded for our curiosity. Yeah, I mean, a grand, as they say, massively hinted this is going to be something that's going to be worth your while to check out. And... Um, We'll have another side point about the old, um, you know, the 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 old guard that had their full dungeon grind plan set out 
and kind of maybe some of them took a while to to ditch that plan as word started to spread across servers and across discords that fuck these nightmare incursions are legit get your asses in there we'll get there in a bit but i'll ask the other guys uh we'll throw it out there to the crowd all you other guys here well i think you said um pube sniffer that uh your plan was to dungeon grind but then that very quickly changed for you and your group did it uh yeah so uh our plan was to do no more but since we had that uh issue on eu uh, the guild decided to uh, postpone it a day um so we were like okay let's turn in our 20 quests that we have and then while we were doing that, we said, eh, let's check out the Nightmare Incursions. And we never looked back. Mm. Mate, it, it would be unfair of the show not to talk about real quick on a tangent the, the quite unfortunate um, uh, start for Europe on Phase 3. Um, I know that we, and I get it, you know, we're all WoW fans, we're all MMO fans, we're all very passionate Um we all want to get in there as soon as we can on day one of a new launch or a new phase or what a patch or whatever it might be. Um, and, and it has such larger, you know, weight, such so, so much more weight behind it and larger implications for cutting edge guilds who are trying to get in there and maybe take down a raid before anyone else in there on their server or in the world. Um, Europe had a 90, a 90 minute delay because you guys basically couldn't log in. There was a technical fuck up. The whole region suffered for it. Um, we've got a lot of friends that, you know, were just wanting, you know, with the pitchforks and the torches outside the proverbial, you know, front gates of Blizzard. Mate, how did you feel about it? Um, being the casual that I am, I wasn't that upset, uh, uh, the thinking was like, if if we don't get in soon, we'll just go to bed and try again tomorrow. Yep. But, you know, I get the frustration if you're like a guild that pushes. But yeah, we were just winging it, I guess. Yeah. And I, I feel it's hard for me, Shagger, I'll throw it to you, obviously, because you're in Europe as well. It's hard for me to... to comment too much on this because obviously i got to play as soon as the phase went live and again europeans would be like i oh, shut the fuck up josh we don't want to we don't care about your opinion you were playing straight away and you got an extra hour and a half of the gold from these nightmare incursions or whatever like you know fuck you but my, my point was going to be that like I would, had I been in your position i think i would have fallen more in the pube sniffer category where like I don't know. I kind of accept that, and, and people don't like to hear this when they're paying for a subscription. And I get that you're a paying customer and you expect, you know, obviously workable product and all that stuff. But like, at the end of the day, it was a 90 minute delay. And I, as more of a casual player like Pube Sniffer, and again, we'll talk about the sweaties versus the casuals in a second, but I would have been like, ah, oh, fuck, this is annoying. Oh, well, shit happens. I'll go play something else for an hour and a half until the server comes online or whatever. Like, it wouldn't have bothered me too much. It was an hour and a half at the end of the day. But I do get it that for, again, the cutting edge guilds, this was a really big deal. And then it's a conversation about how upset they have the right to be over being delayed in their world first efforts with the amount of effort that they put in in preparation and whatnot to take down the raid sight unseen and everything. So like, I, I do respect that. Shaga, I'll throw it to you and just say, I, I mean, I've got a funny feeling you might be on the more casual side of things as well than maybe weren't too you know, fussed about it, but I'll let you say it yourself. How did you feel about the delay in Europe? Uh, yeah, so I am against my will uh more casual than i want to um just because kids and i i sort of more or less it was just it was very frustrating for me because because i was so casual this this was basically half of my available time right you know it was uh instead of playing for three hours i just played for 90 minutes right um so in that way it's, it was frustrating because i am casual you know if i played for 12 hours after that then it would have you know just been an hour later uh, la uh now less but this way was really half my time available time but yeah um even during you know all my guilds were in chat and really uh you know throwing out the memes like oh yeah this uh, indie company you know they've got their troubles yeah 
Um, but yeah, um, I will say, look, we d I don't even know what's up. It seemed to have something to do with Authenticator, but uh, maybe if not, at least that was the sort of quote unquote official mm. um, problem. Um, yeah. I mean, Almost. it was a bit frustrating. You, you just mentioned something about, you know, I just played a different game, but it was all Blizzard games were not available. Yeah, you know, oh, so I couldn't okay. Play, I didn't realize yeah, that. Yeah, I, I couldn't play Plunderstorm. You know? Oh, okay, okay. But I, I do, I what totally respect what you're saying in terms of, and it has to be kept in mind that it's it's a midnight launch for Europe, isn't it? Uh, it was 10 p.m. Oh, that's okay. Okay, 10 p.m. Still a late night launch. I totally respect where you're coming from in terms of like, you know, fuck, man, I'm not going to stay up all night. I've got a life or whatever. This cut into my time. I, I get that. Um, Pixie, I'll throw it to you in a second. I'll just repeat to the crowd, guys. If anyone wants in, please do right click on your profile picture and jump in. Jar, I think you wanted to jump in, mate, but I, I don't want to force the issue. Let me like, put your hand up if you want to get in here. I, I know you reached out to me via DMs. Just let me know. Um, and Pixair, mates, uh, I was so happy to see some very pleasant uh, feedback come back from your uh, last chat on the show with me about Paladins just the other day. It's uh, lovely to have you back again so soon. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And uh, it's it's nice being here as well. Mates, um, you obviously are a European, European player as well. Just while we finished off, we'll finish tying off this really quick tangent about the unfortunate start for the Europeans to phase three. What was your take on it? Uh, so, you know, I had, I had prepared a bit, made, made sure I, I could work from home today and uh, put my girlfriend to bed very early. Uh, so so I, I got a chance to try out the new phase only to be met with... Uh, with the shit show that uh, that was yesterday, mm. um, yeah. When I finally got in, I think I played for like an hour. I had decided beforehand that I wanted to try out the incursions because it sounded like a cool and different way to level up. And uh, yeah, basically I did it for maybe thirty minutes, forty-five minutes. Um, I didn't really notice how much gold I was <laughs> I was making, and I thought, you know, you know this is pretty cool. I can. I can maybe do a bit of this again tomorrow morning. And uh, when I woke up, the, the party was over. Mm. Um, we'll, we'll definitely get into all of that. Um, mate, did you, I mean, and I, if any of you Europeans want, you, any of you Europeans want to say this to me, please, by all means, call me the ogre that I am. Pixay, is it, is it sort of, if I'm speaking to all the casuals out there, and, and as I say, I'm not directing this at the sweaty guilds who really had something on the line. If I do speak to the European casuals and go like, oh, guys, like it was an hour and a half delay. Like, I know it sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Maybe don't write that Reddit comment saying that like, this is the fucking end of the world. Um, is that very e insensitive of me to say? No, yeah, it's say, definitely. By, yeah, by next week, nobody cares. Nobody really. Hundred percent. Yeah, you know, everyone's remember. everyone's forgotten pretty soon. Yeah, I, I mean, you also have to think about like the audience of classic WoW, right? Like the, the average average guy is probably like thirty one, thirty two, and the the people that can't take your quote unquote insensitive comment is probably yeah. I I, I don't think you can save those those guys. Mm. Okay, boys. Um, let, let's. Thanks for for covering that European tangent with me. Let's go back on track with um the sort of main point here. Um, let let's again just get the rough reviews of the nightmare incursion so far. Before we get into, I don't want to get into um sort of you know whether or not there should be a daily limit on the quests or any of that shit just yet. Just the overall concept of what you saw in there, the content. The types of quests, you know, did you have fun? Did you like it? Is it a thumbs up or thumbs down? And we'll talk about the golden shit later. Pixar, how about you? Uh, I did not have fun once we figured out that uh, the most efficient way of doing it was to just skip all the kill quests. Right. Um, and I did not have fun for two different reasons. Like one is, you know, it's it just isn't very fun. Uh, to to not really like play your character, but also because suddenly, like one once like one, 
you know, once once you're a min maxer, you can never go back. And you know, I I am an old an old sweat lord. Uh, and, and you know, suddenly I found myself being nitpicky about who I teamed up with in the incursions because the people that wanted to like play the game the way it was intended were kind of holding me back. And I, you know. It was right there in front of me, an mm. easy way to level up. And, you know, I, th I think getting to level 50 took me like, I don't know, five hours, maybe, mm. maybe a little more. Uh, so, you know, at least it was quick, but it was not fun. Well, there's someone in this chat that can completely sympathize with you. Um, not so much on the fun factor because they had a blast, but in terms of being held back by fuckwits, and that's ubiquitous, um, who had to uh, who had to level with yours truly all day. And it was funny. I mean, we, we gave each other a lot of shit towards the end of the day, all in good fun. But, like, you, you could see this conflict between the, the min-maxing route and the let's just get in there and see what this is all about route. Um, and I appreciate Ubiquitous and I have very, very different play styles. And like, you guys know what I'm like. I would got in there and saw Alliance everywhere. And I was like, oh my God, this is like a fucking kid in a candy store. And every now and again, I enjoyed wandering off the path and going like, I'm going to just hunt this Alliance guy who's alone and I would, you know, get in a fight or people would pop up on my kill on site list everywhere because half the fucking server is on my kill on site list because I'm a piece of shit. And I was like, oh, oh voodoo, voodoo, we got to get this guy. And, you know, we were off having little, you know, PVP hit and run adventures, mixing that in with the questing, which I guess is sort of part of the design philosophy but on day one the min maxes were very much so like it turned into what you're saying pixie where people worked out hey guys maybe we don't have to do the kill quests let's just go in and fucking do all the collection quests and and get all this experience adding up and and ubiquitous i probably frustrated you to hell as you were just trying to get in and get out and i'm running off with the fairies all the time but yeah let's hear from you on that one ubi um I'm, I'm I'm halfway in between in that I don't actually mind doing the killing ones except for those stupid fucking trees. I don't know what Blizzard did, but there's four times as many shredders as there are trees to kill. So that quest was, I reckon, after two runs in, that's when I started my sales pitch of, guys, we don't look for trees. Let's just kill trees that fall in our way but ignore trees. But I was pretty happy to do the kill quest because you got a shitload of XP for killing mobs. And even if it wasn't as efficient as, um, you know, just running and collecting the egg, the reports and all that shit, and then leaving again, I think it would be better for all around sanity to just do them. Cause it wasn't that much worse, to be honest, mm. to do the kill quest, except when it was full on peak hour and even like a whelp was taking a minute to get a tag. Um, but right now I think it's probably pretty good to do the kill quest with how quiet it is. Um, but it was, I think the highlight for me yesterday was you and Voodoo getting, um, your blinders on mm. for a kill on site and you cheap shotting that pally in the very center of his entire five man party. And they mm. just globaled you and said, fuck off cockroach. Mm. And then they just mounted up and kept going on their PVE adventure. <laughs> that was probably the best one of your but side missions. My favorite part uh, of that was you your jaw being on the ground as to how I could have the audacity to start a fight in the pack in the middle of a pack yeah. of Alliance. And I was like, mate, I knew that was going to happen. That's half the fun, baby. <laughs> it's against the pally of all things. They take four minutes to die. <laughs> it's true, <laughs> you were it's never true. getting that assassination off. It's true. No, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I like the way Voodoo put it. You guys do love to chase a butterfly that floats past. Mm. Um, but I mean, again, and, and this is a bigger conversation for another day about whether or not, you know, and people are going to get really upset when I say this, whether or not we play the game the quote-unquote intended way of, of that's what an MMO is all about, about chasing that butterfly when you see it as opposed to following the straight line towards efficiency. Um, but anyway, as I said, that's, that's fucking a conversation for another day. Let's get back onto this and go, look, um, Ja, I'll throw it to you, mate, because I woke up this morning at 6am to a DM from you going, I'm fucking dying to discuss these things. I've got a lot to say. So mate, now's your moment. Um, 
Ja, you're, it's funny because you and I met over a, a very funny PvP encounter on on we our did. server, where um you you were ganking. Uh, we were at BFD doing an alt run. You were on your twenty five paladin at the time, or was it forty or twenty five? I can't remember. Forty. Um, it was 40. 40. The 40 Paladin at the time killing the 25s. I went ballistic on stream going, look at this fucking piece of shit ganking lobies. What a fucking, you know, low life scumbag. And then we found you later um, in uh, Hillsbrad on our mains and we somehow like got to talking. You were in my stream and as I always say to ubiquitous, I fucking hate it when they turn out to be good blokes. And that's exactly what happened. We we kissed and made up and, and we've gotten along since then. And it's a funny origin story. But mates, um, you know, keeping I, that PvP sorry, Yubi, you go for it. I, I don't forget his crimes. <laughs> Never forget. Keeping that PvP background in mind, Jar, um, what did you think of Nightmare Incursion so far? Yes, um a lot of the same like you know, it was good. I had fun. I, I had fun in there. And I liked the fact that there was, you know, as, as someone said, there was lots of people around and there was these interactions happening that were just, you know, different and fresh. Um, the quests were the exact same text. And I just thought that was, I didn't care. Um, it must have taken them like 10 minutes or five minutes to just whip up every single quest because they all had the exact same text. But I haven't been reading quests for 15 years, so I didn't care about that too much. But yeah, just the little scuffles that were having, like, you know, there was bugs, but I tend to make my own fun, like, forgive me for that. You're right. Um, you know, those little bugs on the quest items, they started like these massive brawls, you know, because the horde would sit there and the alliance are all on that scroll, and then four Ellie shamans just start to cast some chain line and it was just fun like i had fun on the day there was lots of things i was concerned about and i just knew that the forums would be blowing up and that kind of um especially when the gold thing happened but i know you want to get in that later but that kind of left a bit of a foul taste in my stomach mm. towards the end of the day fair enough but well, um, well, let's go there now you've, you've raised it organically we've probably said enough about whether or not people liked it um, you know, I, I, and to be fair, if people are wondering, I, I liked it too. I had no drama with the nightmare incursion. I thought it was, f I had fun. Like ubiquitous is saying, like Jar is saying, I thought it was new content. It was a bit of a fun sidetrack, even though it didn't turn out to be a sidetrack. It turned out to be the main event, but, um, well, again, we'll get into that right now, probably. But, um, I thought it was a, my ultimate thing here is this is a good new edition. I like it. I'm into it. Are there tweaks that could be made? Absolutely. But the the idea on the whole, great for me. So I, I'm with you, Jar. But now that you've raised the elephant in the room, let's talk about it or we'll never get there. We're already half an hour into this call and we haven't started talking about the gold. Let's do it, mate. Look, um, I'm, I'm going to say something. Well, you say your thing and then I'll say my thing. So talk to me about how you felt about the gold. Yeah, well, as soon as I saw it happening, um, I logged on at about eight or nine, um, and I was I was going to go there anyway to suss it out, and that was my plan. I wasn't going to dungeons. I might have swapped over, but as soon as I saw it, I said, "Look, this is ridiculous. Um, it's completely going to, you know, change the market. Um, it's it's flooding, you know, injecting all like so much gold never seen before in classic into the game. Thousands of people are getting it." Um, and I knew it was a bit cooked, um, but I was going to take every advantage of it. I knew there was a high possibility it was getting nerfed, so I just put my um, heels up and just went hard on the <laughs> incursions. Um, and then I went off, I had a break, and I had to go somewhere, and I thought, look, what are they going to do? Because if they've forgotten about it, I thought it could have been something that kind of went under the radar with the buff and like this, the logistics of it kind of could have, you know, just sneaked under their radar of what to change, which is a bit silly. But um, yeah, I just thought they can't change it, can they? Like that was my conclusion is that they couldn't take it down. Now that it's been over, it would be really bad to take it down. And when it did get took down, like I just felt, it just put a whole like just a real bitter kind of a 
taste on the whole thing because i just knew that there was people who just missed out and the market is now like what it's going to be and and for casuals that couldn't play it just left a sick taste in my stomach to be honest mm. i i get what you're saying i've got I've, this is going to be a long conversation so there's a there's a few different sub points to, to start building on um Again, people, you know, you can remind yourselves that that everything I say is whether you call it dipped in the bias of the fact that I was able to benefit from, you know, this first day madness. Um, Wacklow, how are you, mate? Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, can you hear me? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah beautiful. I'll just turn you down a little bit, mate. I, I've got I've got one wild point to raise straight off the bat before I really launch into the actual numbers of the gold and whatnot. Um, this is a little bit of a tangential argument, but Wacklow, you'll be the one to yell at me appropriately if I'm way off base on this one. Here's my my weird take that I said to the boys yesterday. I was like, in response to what Jars said regarding the, the casuals who couldn't get a piece of the pie, I said, look, if you're in Australia or Europe, I get it. I get it. In Australia, the game launches at, you know, 7 a.m. on a fucking Friday. Um, the sweat lords or, the, you know, the real enthusiasts have organized if they were lucky enough to take the day off from work. Um, they've sat at home and played all day while, while everyone else is fucking working the day away, itching to get home at 5 or 6 p.m. and get on. If you're in Europe, the game launched at, you know, like Shagger said, 10 p.m. or maybe, you know, there's a few different time zones there, maybe a little bit later. Um, you might have owned, and you got your 90 minute delay, so you couldn't log in until much later in the evening and you maybe only got one or two hours in before you had to be an adult and fucking go to bed. Um, and by the time you wake up, maybe the nerf has come in. So they didn't really get to experience it either. So if you're in the oceanic region or the European region, I get it. I, 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 th I think there is a valid argument there that we didn't get a shot at this and, and I fucking, I get it. I have a weird thing with the North American region, though, because I've been saying if you are in the North American region in that time zone, and I know there's East Coast and West Coast and all that shit, but fuck it, I'm throwing the blanket blanket statement statement down here. I, I'm kind of like, I don't want to hear a single fucking word of complaint from an American about this. Because this was in your prime time zone. And if people are like, mate, I didn't get to play because I'm not a sweat lord. What are we doing? Like, this is day one of a major phase release. Like, if, if, you, if you had something on, I'm sorry. But, like, you can't then say, oh, all these fuckwits that just fucking hammer the game on day one. It's a new game release. What the fuck did you think was going to happen? You had the opportunity to go out there and make all this gold yourself. And for whatever reason, I'm sorry if you had a family affair on or some shit. But, like, I, I just have so much less sympathy for for that argument. Does that make sense, Wacklow? Yeah, it makes sense. I guess I have, like, two thoughts on that mm. before we get into, I guess, like, the broader topic. One is, I, I know you said, like, West East. It doesn't matter. But if you're East Coast... I mean, you could basically leave work a tiny bit early, get home, and, and be on right when it started. So you had a pretty good head start, given that it was nerfed, what, like seven hours in? Eight hours in? Eight, eight, hours, eight hours in, I think it was, yeah. Yeah, so you had a pretty decent head start over the West Coasters. Um, the other thing is that just... I don't know. Like, even if you were playing even if you're on the east coast or you took the day off and you're playing at the beginning it takes time especially if you're like a more casual player for the information to trickle in mm. you're not in the like you might not be in discord talking to all these people you might not be refreshing reddit looking for like the hottest things that you can exploit mm. and so maybe you were playing and you were in Zulfarak for the first five hours and you didn't do any of this and so you, you just didn't get the gold mm. um if i can keep going on like my main thoughts on this People have been talking about how you're screwed because, like, this is going to usher in, you know, a bunch of gold inflation. It's going to be, like, classic era because everyone got a free, you know, 600 gold or whatever it is. But what causes gold inflation is the total amount of gold circulating in, like, the really, like, the non-GDP economy, right? Like, how much does it cost to buy stuff on the auction house? And what's the scarcity of the materials? The scarcity, obviously, isn't affected. So what matters here is, like, the total amount of gold. And the total amount of gold being added today is probably higher than yesterday because mm. you're still getting an decent amount of gold doing this and everyone's doing it now. 
and a lot of people you know yesterday didn't know during the prime time so sure a lot of people got maybe undeserved uh you know like little gold bonuses but but in terms of like the overall server economy i i do think the team is completely like screwing over the economy like everyone's gonna have thousands of gold if they if they grind to revered or exalted but um I don't think the first day is going to have a big impact one way or the other. I, I completely agree. Um, and again, this is going to be very, very unpopular because people are pissed about this. People are really, really pissed. And I'm already seeing the comments come in on, on Twitch and the Discord going like, oh, here we go. Fuck with Josh is going to start blaming the players. You know, this is it's time to be angry at Blizzard. And it's like, I'm not absolving Blizzard of this. And I've got a thing to say about Blizzard in a little bit. But like, you know... I, I'm not quite there on the breadth of anger um, because I, I'm with you, Wacklow. I don't think the impact of this is as deep as people are making it out to be. And I'm happy for all the economists to come on the show and tell me, actually, Josh, you're a fucking idiot. This has absolutely, you know, fucking nuclear wasteland uh, after effects on the server, blah, blah, blah. But I'll throw it open to you other guys or anyone who wants to comment on this. I, just to be again blatantly honest with you guys i made and i know it's i know it's a lot of gold i'm not trying to be fucking blase about this i made about 350 gold yesterday on my character right in one day 350 gold it's a lot of gold i'm not going to fucking dispute that you could have made about 400 450 whatever here's what's going to happen though had we not had nightmare incursions um, or, or I'll do you one better. Let's say the 44 silver reward was in there from the second the server goes live, right? So you're not getting a gold 70 like we were. You're getting 44 silver. How much gold ubiquitous, ubiquitous are we talking about knocking off what we made? Let's say like 200 odd gold, right? Um, I don't it's know. been, they kind of undid the 300% reward with the back-to-back -back nerfs. So we would have gotten 170 each if we made 450, for example. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Would have so made that much. My, my ultimate point, and please, again, guys, you know, I'm not the maths guy, and you guys are, you know me well enough now, all of you here, to fucking tell me I'm being a dickhead if I'm being a dickhead. Um, I'm looking at it like this. I know we're not the, the, you know, the only example, and thousands of players were in these nightmare incursions doing this, but there weren't that many ultimate, ultimate sweat lords making, you know, a thousand gold. And if there were, you know, whatever, that's only, we'll get to that point in a second, but like the average sweat lord made about, you know, four to 500 gold, let's say. Are we going to declare the death of the game over the sweatiest players on your server having about, maybe 300 gold more than you at the end of the day after day one. And I know people are going to say, well, Josh, that's how it works. The rich get richer. They use that 300 gold to invest in the auction house. They buy everything out and it just turns into a shit show. I just, I'm just like, is this going to matter in a month in, in the next phase where like we all point back to like, Oh, Look at that 200 gold head start those motherfuckers got. Like, it's 200 gold. This is not, like, an immense figure. It, it, guys, guys, jump in if I'm being an idiot. Please as, tell me. As an actual economist, I would just like to say that these eight hours is going to make no fucking difference on any server. The servers are so well established already that the the change the rate of change of gold mass on the servers during that eight hours is insignificant especially when you consider the alternative which would be as you mentioned before that it would just be what the the rewards are now instead like who who cares if if some people ended up with two to three hundred more gold than they otherwise would have and the people that are crying that that they missed out on this and and what are they ever going to do like they even if they knew that they could make this much gold in the beginning most of these people wouldn't have wouldn't have done this anyways mm. because they they're yeah. probably too casual for it anyways that's i was saying that yesterday where 
like if people are on the side of oh they should have kept it open so then i could have at least gotten some gold okay you can get your 500 i would have made 2k you're still yeah, blind exactly. and then what do you say <laughs> And they yeah. were never going to do it properly or efficiently to really make as much money as what even we were. Like, yeah. We, yeah, especially we made... because it, the, I think it's a false statement to say, you know, the, the, this 200 gold they got, they're going to 100% re reinvest in the economy and then reap the benefits. I'd say like 9% of that 200 gold is just going to sit on someone's inventory, never to be used. Oh, that's made, that's like, what's going to happen with me. I, I shit you not, but <laughs> I've got a really different outlook on, and, and this is where I know I'm the weirdo. So don't, I, I'm not speaking for the wow community here. I'm just speaking for myself, the wow weirdo. Um, I've completely reanalyzed, like, how do I say this? My relationship with gold and my outlook on gold has been completely obliterated in SOD. I and, and I get it that I raid logged, but like I raid logged for the last month of, of phase two, and I thought about it this morning. I, I'm not joking when I say this, guys. I spent like nothing, nothing, because I, because I raid without consume. So people go, oh, Josh, you're a scrub. You fucking raid without consumes. Ha ha ha. But like, yeah, I do. I've got a raid group. I've got a guild. I raid without consume. So I didn't spend a fucking cent in the last month of sod because i didn't need to because i didn't need anything because we don't pass we can clear the content my guild is like you know decent players um i just don't care about gold anymore and so i'm that guy shagger when you say like, i go like oh ubiquitous and i are laughing yesterday go, oh look at all this gold we've made i'm not gonna fucking spend it it's just gonna sit there and the alternative is I'm going to spend all mine getting summoned to fucking song flowers so I can crank the biggest damage I can that the casual that didn't make 500 gold is never going to fucking purchase anyway. So all my gold I've made will just end up in the summoner's pocket that will end up having it regardless. Like yeah. I'm not, and I'm not conquering worlds of my 500 gold I made. The other side of the coin is, I mean, they're not too much spoken of, but there was also a problem that some people didn't get their, um, their buff at all, their 100% XP buff and their money buff, or it was, you know, it, it was gone in instances or, yeah, yeah, especially. And it's just like, yeah, so that's the problem with ready on day one. It's always has been. Either you get really lucky or you get screwed over. Hmm. It's like, that's the reward you and get for risking it, I guess. It, it's fair to have a crack. Sorry, Yubi. It's fair to have a crack at Blizzard over things like that. I get it. Like the, the European 90 minute delay. It is fair to say, hey guys, come on, pull your fingers out. Let, let's get technical things like that not happening on day one. It is fair to say, and, and Agrand was apologetic about this one on Twitter. It is fair to say like, hey guys, you know, the average player doesn't know, like, you know, to test logging out and shit to get his experience buff firing. Because, yeah, when you went, when you went in, the, the, we, we started out at SM, when you went in the instance, straight away one of the boys goes, ah, uh, guys, my experience buff isn't there anymore. And we were like, fuck that. We're not starting this dungeon without that thing sorted. And so we, we talked to some players around us. We sorted it out. They said, if you log out, log back in, it'll get you going. That's what we did. Fix it straight away. Done. The average player doesn't know to fucking do that. That's on Blizzard. That's a technical problem. They are absolutely out there doing a mea culpa on this one. You can do the small indie company meme. That's all fine. They do deserve a fucking, uh, uh, you know, wrap over the knuckles for that one going like, hey guys, do better come on this is technical shit you should be on top of absolutely i'm a paying customer do better they know that and they're 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 saying sorry um but that's what pcrs are for and we kind of asked for not having that that's right i was i was gonna say are we do you want to go down the tangent of it kind of leans into how the quests and stuff gets shared but just as an overall like i think they need a little bit of criticism on Obviously, they didn't even get five of them in the office together and really tried to crank this out to then go, fuck, like I only had 100 gold and I've made 100 gold in 40 minutes and God, sharing these things suck. Like, did they even try to test this whatsoever? Because if they did, I don't know how it got left it's in with this much gold as a reward. So that that's yeah. more of where my criticism lay in that like, how do you not test this and go, I've doubled my net worth in 30 minutes after playing the game for like 30 days played so far. Like, how on earth is this good? It's just surprising that it made it to live, but I think they did the right, like, response once they realized, holy fuck, everyone's making fuckloads. Mm. So. To, to kind of come back to what, what uh, Josh said earlier about, uh, uh, is this 
gold, uh, these these early gold rewards from incursions, are they going to blow up the economy? The early rewards are not, but incursions as a concept might in the long run, because it is so easy to make so much gold, even with the nerfs now, because we've figured out these very uh, efficient routes. You can you can still crank out a lot of gold very easily and i can easily see how these routes can be set up by bots because mm. you don't oh. have to do anything anyone they anyone with three accounts over and over again. anyone with three accounts can just pretend the nerf never happened they'll still be out there because they've only, they've nerfed it down to one third of what it was before mm. if you're one of the sweaties of three accounts and you're just doing the laps of collections you'll still be making your 120 gold, mm. 200 gold an hour. Oh, so. and you'll, you'll see the people with the fucking train in tow doing that. I've seen it. I've started seeing it today. It's begun. There's lots of people on follow mm. on one guy. So let's let's start the pitchforks and torches over that. Let's let's ban multiple accounts. Let's, you know, like, you know <laughs> what I mean? How far are we going with this? I think... Uh, I reckon maybe... Maybe, hear me out. You can no longer do them once you've hit Exalted, but that sounds like removing a good... But what purpose? If you're Exalted, why would you come in here anymore? But, but, but in all honesty... So, one, sorry, can I... One I, I really... Sorry, might, sorry, you go, you go, Pixie, and I'll jump in. I, I, I just wanted to say that just before I hit level 50, I was like, okay, I'll just, I'll just finish off all the quests so I can turn them all in and get a load of gold from the XP to gold conversion but then you once you hit level 50 you lose the experience buff and the gold buff and it seems like the quests wouldn't give you any xp anymore because then suddenly i only got 44 silver for those quests mm -hmm. uh when i did them in ashenvale instead of the one point something gold so it's definitely nerfed once you hit max level but i i don't know about feralus or hinterlands Mm. Yeah, I haven't gone and done the level 50 ones on my 50. I literally logged off and started an alt as soon as I hit 50. <laughs> no, no, no. Go, go. You're going to have to get in here because I want to I want to get into it with you with the fucking uh, a point you just made. I love you, brother, but we need to talk about your comment on Twitch. So if you want to put your hand up, let's have a back and forth. Um, here he is. I just want to say one thing before I, I uh, start this up with Go. Um, go, can you hear me? Hey, what's going on? Hey, man, I can hear you laughing because you're like, oh, shit, now he's going to get into me. No, it's all good. It's all good. Look, I just want to say this one point before I um, start up with you, Go. Yubi, I'm actually not joking on the crack that I made about a minute ago about like, oh, what, you know, why aren't the guys fucking angrily posting about the people with multiple accounts, blah, blah, blah. Like, the more I think on it, the more I'm like, hang on, maybe I'm onto something here. Like, in all seriousness... And I'm, I'm not talking about banning multiple accounts, but I'm talking about the people who are angry about this. Like, in all seriousness, you are going to see, like Ubiquitous is saying, multiple sweat lords on your server with two to three accounts or even more. We've all seen the guy with four characters trailing him, whatever. They will go in and absolutely take the time to do this on one character, share all the quests with their alts, have them there live online at the same time. And it doesn't matter that it's been nerfed to 44 silver per turn in. They will just absolutely do all the collection quests, spam this for the next week. And you were afraid that your fucking auction house is going to be in trouble yesterday. Well, I've got news for you. Those guys are coming for your auction house. And fucking, like, in all honesty, where are the angry posts about, like, oh, multiple accounts shouldn't be allowed. This is abusable. This is bullshit. But it's the exact same concept as people playing the game with the values as were intended on the first fucking hour of the day, doing it on one character. I actually really think there's something to this point. I think it's an extremely good point. Um, you're right. And it, the fact that it's just a loop. Uh, we started doing the loop in like 10 minutes. Um, and we were getting, yeah, you know, upwards of 50 gold um, for 10 minutes of work. And so with those three characters, it's just going to be endless. And it's just like, it's not like a market-based um, value. It's just money coming in. So yeah. yeah, multiple accounts so, on that loop is going to be crazy. I'm kind of like on, on leading into what goes about to say and, and the whole put your money where your mouth is. Like, 
I'm I'm going to call out to the people writing all the like fucking vitriolic 11 out of 10 hatred spiteful comments on Reddit about, you know, this money needs to be rolled back. This is fucking unfair. This is all bullshit. You absolutely need to add into those comment comments, ban multiple people are not allowed to hold multiple accounts from now on. Ban it. Ban it. I want to see that attached because it's the same fucking concept. It's not gonna happen. No, it's not. <laughs> of course it's not. Anyway, sorry. Uh, one thing Here I go, mate. jump in for uh, just a minute. One uh issue I was having is um the the minority I, or it might be a lot of people that wouldn't go on the forums that are casuals and they, it just leaves like this it's just like another nail in the coffin you know they they play sod they're playing wow and then they come into this and this happens they don't go to the forums they don't care about that but they're just like yeah this is really shit i just have it i'm a big um dev sympathizer but i think yeah ub's criticism of them was was really fair did they fucking test it i i really do sympathize with the devs i agree yeah um but there is some really need for some constructive criticism and i would love for them to address it publicly yes um but yeah i think they will i'm sorry sorry i keep saying go i'll get to you i will get to you but this this is the point now that you've raised that organically jar to bring this up I don't want to make this sound, and again, you know, the, the fuckwits who hate me are going to be like, here's Josh the apologist fucking sucking Blizzard's dick again. But no, this is the fair point where I was thinking about this late last night as I, as I was going to bed as well, going like, and the boys said this a few times during the day, and this I think this is separate. This is a very separate argument from the no PTR thing. No PTR, we get it. You know, there will be bugs. We, we get it. There will be issues. That's fine. I would prefer no PTR. This ain't that because this is a process that was designed by Blizzard that goes through a quality assurance process and design testing and all of that shit. Um, you know, there is a small team, but there's still a team and they, they build their stuff. They look at their stuff. They analyze their stuff. They play their stuff. They test that, that, that stuff and then they ship that stuff. Um, it, it really does. And Tito was raising this point as well, quite vigorously. Um, it's, there's been instances prior to this in phase one and phase two where I, I've certainly sort of half said as well, like, fuck, did this stuff, what, what did, did they get a good look at this? Like, how did this ship, what's going on? But I don't think it's ever been more apparent than it was with nightmare incursions. And a grand gets, you know, bent out of shape when I kind of come at the team like this, but I'm sorry, a grand, it, it is fair to say that, how did this one kind of get through the process in this state? Like when, when you did have that one gold 70 reward and you guys decided to make these quests spammable, how many hands did that pass through who gave it the thumbs up only to have you guys nerf it eight hours later, clearly realizing, holy shit, this isn't something we should have done. In eight hours, yep. you realize that after launch, as opposed to however many weeks it was in development prior to that. This is a really fair bashing on Blizz on the, the um, you know, putting it under the microscope when it's in the oven kind of process. Do you know what I mean? I think um, this is towing that line again of there's going to be guys out there going, well, if you just let me and my boys in, we would have tested it yeah. and we would have PTR'd it. And guess what? <laughs> we would have had a fucking guide telling you exactly where to be in the most optimal route yeah. before anyone stepped foot in here. And that would have been worse than me getting 400 gold. Hmm. But internally, I really would like to think that five blokes that deliver or, or women that developed this game came in here and really fucking cranked it out. Like, I'm not saying I have to be 99 passing sweat lords, mm. but even us, but they are. you guys picking shit fights, <laughs> um, were running around going, this is a bit silly. And like we were saying on the, on the day, we're like, man, imagine if we were like really actually trying mm. how ridiculous this would be. <laughs> so even just five numpties stumbling through this thing with no guide, we're still going through the learning curve. There's no questy and all that shit. We still had to figure everything out and we were sitting there live going, this is a bit silly, especially like by the time you did two or three and you practically had every quest because you can do them so fast, your badges haven't expired yet, which is low key a nerf they could do. You can turn the deputy duration down to like 10 minutes mm. so that you can't have like there was runs there, but we had 19 fucking quests between five yeah. of us because we still had our badges or 
excess badges from two or three runs ago. Um, I, I legit just ended up deleting the badges after sharing because yeah. my backs would just get too full same, anyways. Same. But I, th I think I know what happened leading up to this. I think it's a mix of, of course, they didn't have enough QA time. And then this incursion thing, that's their little baby. It's their darlings. All these quests that they've made and they have this idea that then you go to this part of the zone and you do these four quests and then you move over here and do these four quests. And I'm sure if you do that, like if you do all the quests before you come back, then it's probably true that you will end up making about the same gold and same experience as a really hardcore dungeon grinding group. But they never stopped to think, how can we degenerate our little baby as much as possible? And because they didn't do that, we ended up with this. I also think the gold thing is, uh, is an issue that arrived because they probably didn't, when they tested internally, use, um, use the experience buff. That also had three times gold on the quest rewards. Maybe, maybe that was an oversight. Yeah, it's it's look. There's a there's myriad reasons why it might have been, but like, I, I I just I think it's more than fair. And and you know the guys at Blizzard know that you know they've said don't be backwards in coming forwards, Josh. If you feel like there's constructive criticism out there to throw that that their way, put the boot in, and and that's kind of what I'm doing here. But I also you know if you guys from Blizzard are listening, you know I don't need to say this, but like. This isn't a this isn't a, a personal dig at anyone. You guys know I, I I vaguely know the guys on the QA QA team and and to your point, ubiquitous. The people on the QA team are fucking gamers. Like these are ninety nine passes, and people like to meme that they don't fucking play the game and shit like that, mate. The people on the QA team are insanely better than, at the game than every single fucking one of you. You know what I mean? Like they are ballers. Um, but but can you can you imagine when they then come back and say, hey, you know these pickup quests, they're pretty good, and then you know this is tongue in cheek. Then a friend is like, yeah, yeah, but have you tried killing the mobs and like test what the respawn time on them are? Hmm. Yeah, and and, 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 yeah. and then you know missing the point that that you can you can suck the fun out of this very easily absolutely and that's what i'm saying like despite the fact that like you know th this is being this is being uh built and tested by fucking people that know what they're doing unfortunately this does seem to have slipped through the cracks and been delivered in either an odd state or a state that didn't foresee the interaction that the players had with it and like a really good point raised by rue is that look may who, who knows we're all speculating as to why this happened but maybe they thought PvP really would slow shit down, as Rue says, and then we went in there. And, like, I wouldn't have made that guess because we all know what day one sweat lords are like. They ignore PvP. They've all got their eyes on the leveling prize and they can don't fucking touch anyone. Yeah. There is a weird uh, armistice that happens on, on around these times and anyone who's played any time on launch knows this. So... I would have foreseen it. I'd be a little bit shocked if the devs didn't foresee it, but maybe they forgot. Maybe they really thought it would turn into a bloodbath and it was the fucking opposite. Ubiquitous, you were going to say something? Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just surprised. Maybe the problem with QA was um, that they don't get to populate it with 600 people like mm. we're experiencing, yeah, yeah, yeah. where, you know, they would have gone through and, they would have been like, yeah, spawn rates are good, this and that. Like, oh, well, that lap took us 50 minutes. But as soon as you put 600, 600 of us in here going, bruv, I can't tag a fucking whelp. Let's just do the pickups. Like, they would have needed a, they would have needed to QA this for an eight-hour session with only trying to level as fast as possible internally. But they never would have come to the same conclusion as us because they would have been like, all right, everyone spread out. And they would have killed 15 whelps in what a minute between mm. a five-man party of good mm. players with no competition you'd kill 15 whelps in a minute and they were probably getting a much different experience again i'm still going to die on the hill it's better than ptring it and we knew everything about it and it was ruined before it arrived yeah and and as tito's saying imagine if there was no armistice no one would get a single quest done um, which yeah. is true. But also, I, I will say this, like, it, this is an easy one, but, like, this place is going to look very different in two to three weeks' time. Like, day one, when everyone is in there, is fucking hectic. 
Um, I actually think it's going to be a really fun little zone in about a month's time when there's fewer people in there. The Sweat Lords, much like Battlegrounds in a way in Phase 1, the Sweat Lords have finished their rep grind. Um, you know, people have d- leveled to 50 on fucking two or three characters or whatever, and it's much less populated. I think it'll be really fun for some PvP shenanigans, but I don't know. It's, um, it's, it's I, getting- think, I think the, le- the leveling okay. ones, like the Ashen Veil one, is going to get so griefed by level 50s just dunking on people trying to get from 40 to 50. True, true. It's it's getting a bit wacky already where people are so caught up on just get the collect quests where now you can do the kill quests pretty easily because no one else is killing anything. So much so that just two minutes ago while we're chatting, my party just five-man soloed Shredder in front of the Warsong mm-hmm. fort Mm. And just like a thousand people ran past, yeah. not even bothering to help stop and kill yeah. it or even get their tag. They've just gone full autopilot, pick up, pick up, pick up and leave. And it's getting a bit weird in there where, yeah, it's like the killing part is just foregone, even though there might be a route here where it becomes efficient to do them again. Right. Like how long does it take to stop and tag a boss? You've just reminded me. I'm gonna I'm gonna to go to go now. But the last thing you've just reminded me, Yubi. Um, I've got to tell this real quick story of my PTSD from yesterday, where one of my my most fun moments from day one yesterday was um, we're sitting waiting for Shredder to spawn, and uh, there's five of us sitting there, and there's a group of five Alliance right next to us, and we're going, oh fuck, we're gonna to have to compete for the tag here. And our our friend Voodoo goes, boys. Uh, why don't we just fucking kill them? And I've gone, oh my God, light bulb, he's right, damn it. So we go, right, I'm sapping this one, we're doing this, we go in, and and fucking me and Voodoo are blowing them up. We got our mate Marcus healing us away, and we're like, fucking go, kill, and bodies are falling to the ground, and it's this great, we wipe them, and we turn around and fucking Ubiquitous and his other mate haven't flinched a muscle. It was a 3v5 because they're like, what are you dickheads doing? We're going to wait for the tag. And I've never had my heart broken in so many ways. I was being a good general, staying on my horse, <laughs> overseeing the encounter. You're a fucking coward. You right. guys, you, I was firmly in the manager position by then. I can't get my hands dirty. Oh my god. Anyway, go. Let's get to it, mate. Um, look, you you can explain yourself, Go. You might have been tongue in cheek or not at all. Are you pissed, Go, about yesterday? Uh it was a bit tongue in cheek. Okay. Yeah. Cause anytime I comment something and I'm not in an actual call with somebody, I'm just trying to get a rise out of them. Oh, and, and it, it worked. It the, worked. The problem <laughs> yeah, the, the problem is go and, and my my friends know this. I am the most easily tiltable person on the planet, particularly with text. No, uh, uh I've been trying to look at both sides on it and uh you mentioned rollbacks as one of the points that people had brought up. A lot of people are saying it. Yeah, it won't be a thing that they ask for. Yeah. It. That absolutely sucks to roll back. Mm. Like I would be fine if it was a complete shit show and people got 5000 gold and they didn't roll it back. Like n- never never do roll back. Never do a roll back, yeah. <laughs> um and it, but the the biggest thing for me is like first impressions matter a lot in mm. this version of the game for me and STV got kind of ruined with people abusing how to get blood coins the first day like the first 12 hours but did it did it ruin it for you for the whole phase uh i the event overall just wasn't my cup of tea at the end of the day i went back and tried it afterwards Mm. but it i didn't but but that's a a, that's a separate issue from your rage lingering for two months from what those people did on day one right a little bit yeah yeah but uh like even for this one though like i and hearing you guys talk, I haven't done the incursion event yet. Okay. I haven't gotten to get out there. Uh-huh. Um, but everybody's saying that you don't even kill things. You just pick up stuff and go talk to NPCs, get your XP, get your gold, and get your rep. That does not sound like a fun event to mm-hmm. me. But mm-hmm. if there was that little bit of extra gold, then that would at least incentivize me to go do that monotonous mm-hmm. running around in a circle grind. Mm-hmm. But like, uh, why even nerf the gold? If it's not an issue because of the little amount of gold people got would it have been so terrible for the the gold nerf to have st- or not been nerfed like no 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 but then just- but then you raise the point if you do i see what you're saying and i i get it if you want to if we're doing in the name of fairness if we don't nerf it and give everyone a shot at getting their bag then you get yeah. the scenario that yubi was describing before where all right casuals 
go in and get your one gold 70 per quest turn in. But now that all the sweat lords have actually had 24 hours of figuring this out, they are tripling and quadrupling what you're earning now, making it even worse. Yeah. Do you know by what the, I mean? By the, time, by the time the casuals showed up, I was already at absolute efficiency with the same buff as them. So I'd actually be outpacing them even more mm. if they left it in any longer. Because we had it down to a fucking art by then. Like, mm. we knew exactly what we were doing. But we were still choosing to kill stuff, even though we kind of acknowledged that some of them were a bit of a time sink. Um, but, yeah. yeah, Punchy, by the way. Sorry, Matt, I know it's frustrating. I'm watching everyone's volume on my monitor. It's it's all good on my end for the podcast. So I'm sorry if it's a bit soft or loud for you guys, but it's coming through fine for me, and it'll be all good for the podcast. Go, um, do, do you hear what you be saying there or what we mean? We're like... If you just open the floodgates and let the casuals have their bite at the cherry, it only gets worse. Uh, I'm not. I'm not picking up what he's putting down. Okay, now. so like we're 24 hours into the server now, right? So everyone spent the first day figuring out how this new thing works and and what the routes are and what the you know min maxi nature already at this elementary stage is. Um, the casuals who will only play X amount of hours in the day anyway, if they go in and go, all right, it's, you know, let's say, for example, it's a Saturday here in Australia. Um, you know, the, the casual player who has to eventually take the kids to soccer and have the barbecue with the next door neighbors this afternoon and all that shit gets two hours to play today. And they're like, I didn't get my shot at all this gold in the nightmare incursion, but I've, you know, the missus is going out shopping from 10 till 12 and I'm going to play for two hours, go straight to these nightmare incursions and get me my shot at this gold. And they do it and they do, you know, fucking 30 quests in two hours and they get their 50 gold from those quests and they're like, ha ha, good, that's fair, I got mine. The problem is in that same Saturday where they asked for that opportunity to, you know, be brought on par with everyone else and have their shot at the one gold 70 in that same Saturday, the, you know, let's say 1200 incredibly sweaty players on that server who didn't play two hours, they played for 16 or 18 hours and they were doing, oh, I don't know, let's say fucking... 20 quests an hour or some shit like that, they've now come home at the end of the day and their bag has, you know, what, 1,500 gold in it? Do you know what I mean? And then if you do that every day exponentially, the gap grows wider and wider and then the rich really do get richer, all in the name of giving the casuals their shot at the bag. Now, I, I get the argument that, like, but Josh, if it's nerfed down to 44 silver, that's happening anyway. But, like... The nerf still at least curtails how much... I, I don't know. Pixay, you're the economist. You'll have to tell me where I fucked up here. Do you understand what I'm saying? Dude, you're making perfect sense. Like, honest, like, like the most fair thing you could do to the casual is make the quests give you zero gold. Because then it doesn't matter how efficient the nerfs are. And the more gold you you uh, you reward the player, the, the worse off the casuals are. Because suddenly efficiency moves you much further. To potentially just other farms as well like if this is if this is making 150 gold an hour and the sweaters get to play 10 hours a day and you're playing one you're gonna get outscaled in the economy in fucking three days compared to now you can't get outscaled that quickly because yeah. it's not rewarding me that much no matter how much i play mm. so go do, do you do you know where what we're getting at kind of a little bit it's it's making a little bit of sense now but it's lot. It's led me to think, what worth is gold even in the game right now? Like nothing. What, it's worthless. I yeah. My, so re like, my revelation at, of twenty twenty four is gold in MMOs or at least in WoW means fucking nothing. Yeah. So at the end of the day, like it does it really matter how much gold people got or would get? No. From the event, <laughs> like. But if it's worthless, then does it matter how little anyone's got? Yeah. Yeah. So hey. just either. Let let it stay how it was. It's already too late for that. Or yeah, just completely get rid of it. I like that idea too. Just Pe people will be writing. Gold. People will be writing as I'm. You know, obviously tongue in cheeks. He's saying that gold has no value. But like, I'm only half joking. Like I, I, like I said, I really do mean it. That I look at gold very differently now. But 
this is a completely subjective argument because I play the game very differently from many of you. If you are a, a you know, 99 passing, if I drop my performance, my guild gets rid of me kind of gamer, I get it. Gold has value. You must buy that expensive pre item. You must have full consumes or at all times or else. I, I totally get that, that you might have a very different relationship with gold than I do. But I'm what I'm getting out there is that I think a larger portion of the player base from the, the slightly, you know, not even just the casuals, from the like semi-casuals, that shitty term that we all hate, from the semi-casuals on down need to really have a long think about how much gold really plays into their daily interactions with the game. Because like, I don't know, I just, I feel like if you challenge yourself to not spend gold, you can kind of get away with it. I don't know. I think it's just, I think people are getting a bit biased towards us not being 60 yet. Once you're 60, gold makes a world of fucking difference. Like, for example, gold didn't matter at BFD, because what could you get? Like, one pot, congrats, you took your Agi pot to fucking BFD. You're a big dick fucking gamer. What about when you're getting four summons to get all your buffs that you're also paying a hunter to get access to, if this all stays in the game? You're flasking. You've got max consumes. Like... Back in Classic, it was like 200 gold a fucking week to raid to get all the buffs. So far, the most casual fucking numpty AFK in Thunderbluff could reach 50% buff capacity by just AFKing in town. But it's going to be a lot different when you have to go to two towns, out to Felwood, <clears throat> down to DM, and there's flasks and consumables to pop. And we might even be getting more. You don't know what's down the road. But, like, everyone can pretend, keep pretending that gold doesn't matter in SOD, but come level 60, I think people will go, ah, oh, fuck, man. I wish I had a fucking few thousand gold now rather than 64. Mm. I'm, I'm, there's been no gold sinks, really. I, it, it's a really interesting point. Sorry, Pixie, I'm just going to jump in and just say to, to John, I, I agree with you. John says, like it or not, gold is a power system in the game. That's like a three-hour conversation for another day. I agree with you, but... I don't know if it's wild for me to say this, John, and I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this episode for saying shit like this, but like, if I threw in the, the, the one word or the caveat, if I twisted that and said, like it or not, gold is an optional question mark power system in the game, I don't know. I don't know. Pixay, sorry, you go. Uh, I mean, like, they, they can definitely make gold not worthless but you know have way less power in the late game if they want to like they they just have to borrow some of the ideas that that they've had so far like for instance some of the boxes that you got from no morgan you could have something similar in in later rates that could contain a bunch of crafting stuff that you could then use so that you didn't have to bring a stack of elixir of, of mongoose or whatever and, and they they could make dmt buffs not work in raids if they wanted to so that you didn't have to pay a hunter to clear it for you there's a lot of stuff they could do and then at the end of the day the only thing that's left is how much buying power do you have at the auction house and if you don't need to buy the consumables anymore or consumables will be very cheap because they made resources incredibly abundant then it's only boes that are left and you know at no point has boes ever been mandatory maybe with the exception of something like edge masters and that's not going to be needed anymore because mm -hmm. they've already said that you can get five weapon skill of your choice um just to uh, jar i'll throw it to you in a second mate and, and then love to hear from you other guys um I appreciate that, like, I, again, I'll always say it and I'll keep repeating it. I am the fuckwit here in the relationship I have with consumes. But, like, I appreciate that consumes get used in the early stages of a phase. Obviously, when you're pushing to, to just down a boss when nobody's got the gear and all that stuff and you, you will be spending a bit of gold on consumes. But like the guys have said, and, and like Tito's intimating in, in Discord chat there, I, I personally, and I'm not talking about this as though, like, you know, I'll play the game with zero money. Like the average player, let's be fucking honest, guys. The average player has a hundred gold. You know what I mean? They just do. I'm sorry. Like people be like, oh, mate, I've got 20 gold. Well, fuck, if you're playing one hour a month, yeah, you might have 20 gold. But like the average player has a hundred gold. 
you got 100 gold, you're fucking fine. Because consumes have not been that expensive. And like Ubiquitous has said multiple times in the past, if you go out and, like you're supposed to in a fucking MMO, go out and spend an hour or two a week just going, I've got to go out and make some money. That more than covers you. More than that probably covers you for like multiple weeks of raiding inside. I, that's what I now. Yeah, now, now. No, you're right. And now when, let's keep an Ma- eye on sixty. When Max but now, was one agi pot, one strength pot, like, and that was ninety percent of your consumable power. There was still like, there's ten percent more if you want to go get your boggling root and shit. But yeah, sixty is going to be different. Like, no, 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 I when get you that. Need I get buy that. arcane crystals for fucking crafted gear and shit. And, and we'll di- we'll discuss it when we get there, and that's fair fair to raise now as a warning flag. But like, also like Tito saying, I get that if Sunken Temple is really really hard, people will be consuming out the wazoo to try and clear it. I get that, I get that. But again, I feel like isn't that still a limited time period that we're talking about? Like sweat lords aside, wouldn't the casuals only be consuming for the first month while they're struggling to down the content and then once they get the gear, then the reliance on the consumes comes down a little bit, so the gold sink goes down? That That's my understanding of generally how it works. But anyway, not to get too tied up into like a gold conversation, Jar, I'll pull it back to our point with Go about like, you know, were you to do something wild like Blizzard saying, even though this would never fucking happen, if Blizzard goes, right, guys, casuals, we've heard you. It was very unfair not to give you a shot at the one gold 70 reward from the Nightmare Incursion quest. We're going to bring that back for a little bit so you casuals can start doing that now. Tell me what you would think of something like that. You with us, Jar? That's all right. It might be AFK. Um Fucking, how about you, other guys? Wacklow, how about you? Sorry, I had to take off my headphones. What was the last? Part. You're right. I was, yeah, just, I'm I was just back now, too. Oh, sorry, sorry, Jar. Yeah, I'll go Jar, then Wacklow. Jar, I was just saying, like, back to Go's point, uh, what we we're talking about with Go, about, like, you know, not that this would happen, but if they said Blizzard goes, all right, fuck it, we'll bring back the one gold 70 reward so everyone can have a crack at it and it's not just a day one thing. Did you understand what we were saying about whether or not that's a good or a bad thing? We've lost him. We've again. lost him again. That's all right. He's he's trying to speak up. Wacklow, you jump in, and then Jar. Uh, I don't know if I have a strong opinion either way. Um, more to like the general discussion. I think like trivializing gold. You, so you were saying like gold in MMO is generally not a big deal. I think that's true for most phases of WoW. I mean, like you were just talking about for level sixty vanilla WoW, it's not true, but. That's one of the things about level 60 vanilla WoW that I think sets it apart from like most other experiences you can get with most other versions of this game. And I get that SOD isn't vanilla, and people call it like a beta for maybe an eventual more permanent sort of setup, but if gold doesn't matter, and battlegrounds are dead, and world PvP is kind of dead, then what is it that we're playing SOD for over, over another part of the game? What part of vanilla are we still like getting something out of that we wouldn't get more polished somewhere else that, mm. that's kind of where i am and i think the gold conversation it is like a, a small part of that mm. i think if you had the gold still there it'd kind of be an even playing field but i don't know it's a lot of gold i thought it was cooked when i did it when i first started i was like this is bad mm. i'd not like this um Again, I, I'm a dev sim, but I, I, I just play, I have fun, um, and I, it is what it is. Um, but I don't know if that's the answer. I think it's 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 a bit of a sticky situation, and leaving the gold in for everyone to get a crack, maybe, at a t- like, whatever you do, people are going to exploit it, and the bots are going to come in, so it's just going to screw it anyway. But Do it. Do it, Blizz. I want to see the five-man multi-boxer making <laughs> 600 gold an hour, and yeah, I want to read the salty fucking comments on Reddit, <laughs> and the casual goes, yeah. oh, no, what did oh, we yeah. let out of the bottle? Put yeah. it back. It's, Nerf it. No matter, no matter what they do, it opens up another myriad of problems, even if they, they didn't do this error. Like, people find something to complain about, but when they do, you know, drop the ball, so to speak, like this a little bit, it's really, it just gets crazy. And I don't know what the answer is. I don't think having that goal there would would be the answer. I think it'd probably be a bad thing, but... Mm. 
Arcot. Even I thought even like a public address of it, like a well-worded apology, yeah. might go um, f- further in the minds of a lot of these people who missed out. To be I honest with would... you, I think that's coming. Because I think that would be like in the short term, that's really hard, and it, it probably shines a light on some things that they don't want. But in the long run, I think that's a better option. I think there will be a mayor culpa coming in some form in in the future of like, okay, it didn't work, we fucked up. We'll we'll keep an eye on that and keep that in mind for future phases. Um, but I mean, not like saying I expect it, but like I wouldn't be shocked if we get that pretty soon. Arcos, mate, let's throw it to you. Sorry, I've kept you waiting. You've listened to all of this. What do you have to say? Uh, my brain is too much cooked to uh, to talk about the gold thing. To be honest. <laughs> oh, here we go. What do you want to talk about? Uh, I just wanted to say that my brain was uh, about as cooked as the login servers yesterday. For, oh, uh, you wanted for to, you wanted to, be, you wanted an hour to bitch about the European thing. Uh, I don't know. Do you want to go go there? I'll give you, I'll give you two minutes. Say your angry piece about why the Sweat Lord Raider World Firsters hate Blizzard now. Oh, well, I, w- I wouldn't necessarily go that far. I think it's uh, a bit, a bit weird how. Um, how phase one so smooth and then phase three launches so uh, so bad or from phase one to phase two no issues for anyone really and now we get uh, kept out of the game for two and a half hours while everyone else is playing feels bad I'll wasn't it like a ddos attack on the european servers i'll, I'll say i've not heard anything i'm not like, i don't think they've uh, said anything it was Ar- it was arcos ddosing them yeah, no, it was the shaman. So he had uh, something to complain about, about today. the uh, the nerves. It was the Icelandic volcanoes. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, Arcos isn't tired from playing all night. He's just come back from attacking the building where the servers are hosted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, it, 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 it felt really, it felt really bad to be uh, watching everyone play and just sat there. You do, fuck you do sound like shit. Have you been up playing all night or what? Yeah, I've been up for like... <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, I'm a lot, a lot of hours. To make the game. Look, I, I no. shouldn't make fun because, I like I said, I do have sympathy for the World First Raiders, even though I'm obviously not one of them. I sit here and make fun about, oh, no, the World First Raiders didn't get in. But it is it is fucked. Like, it, it's shit. It's not, I'm not being apologetic for Blizzard in that regard. Those guys wanted to get in there, and I, I believe that, you know, it G'day, was mate. Noda or whoever were fucking spitting chips over all this, and I get it. I get it. Um, so, like... You know, Arcos, you're in a bleeding edge guild. Like, did, weren't weren't you guys going for gold or what? Uh, we kind of pulled out, but we had three like gnome runs planned for launch, which kind of got fucked by this because you know half the people couldn't uh, play the game. Right. Uh, but I mean, once once it went live, yeah. didn't you all kind of go? Well, you know, we were going to stay up all night anyway. Let's go, 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 boys. Um. I don't know. Like we had to sit for an hour, forty-five minutes, clicking reconnect every, you know, seven, eight seconds to see if it worked. Mm. After yeah, an hour and forty-five minutes of that, the hype is kind of gone. So is it there... wasn't uh, as enjoyable as she would have wanted. You know, is there no longer like a race to EU first versus like? Uh race to world first like did it not matter that you could have still had the chance for an eu world first hasn't... Well, i mean world first isn't isn't over like, yeah no one's yeah. killed it yet so it's still on. no one's killed it yeah. yet so like well, it's still going and uh the first as far as i know the first killed in was nota which is on eu can we talk about it for a second because i i shit you not guys i have not read seen heard one fucking word about sunken temple everything i know of it i'm about to find out now all i know is it hasn't been killed so a grand was kind of on twitter celebrating that it's cool to see a raid not get taken down straight away um tell me you guys inform me or talk amongst yourselves have you seen sunken temple highlights does it look cool what are your initial impressions can, uh, can i go off about this for a second yeah go whack probably actually rated it my my run is until tomorrow because okay. we're trying to just be as prepped as possible yeah but but i've watched a decent amount of it so i think it is cool especially since they're almost certainly going to nerf it by the time of the second lockout that 
it didn't get just mowed over, especially since leveling took all of like six hours, uh, that it didn't get mowed over and that we didn't have world first like seven hours after launch. But the reason that at least like the main roadblocks have been hard is because they just have a million HP. And usually when you say a million, that's like, uh, you know, an exaggeration. But a million undershoots that they have like four million. They have like Nefarian levels of HP for a 20 man with a bunch of level 50s and we have runes but we're not doing much more than people were doing in MC and uh and BWL on warriors with world buffs. So these are just like 12 minute fights, 15 minute fights with very simple mechanics. Think like early black wing lair level mechanics. Mm. And people are having to bring like five healers wand. It's just I think once you get some like warriors in there, it might go a little quicker, but it's just not, uh, it's not like heroic Lich King. It's not this like engaging, multifaceted, mechanically relatively complicated fight that they're having to figure out in real time. It's the same it's two they mechanics have to sit there. for 12 minutes. Yeah, over and over. yeah. It's like they have, um, well, what's the name of the guy? They have manual crowd pummeler, automatic crowd pummeler, that boss, like for 15 minutes. That's the type of fight oh, that's wow. holding uh, some people up. Um, not not really the case for Aramicus. That looks a little cooler, but um, but yeah, it's just the the numbers are too high, to the extreme. There you go. Um, uh, Zunda, mate, can I throw it to you? Did you join in to talk about this raid or something else? So I'd love keep it going on the sunken temple theme. You there, Zunda? Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, loud and clear, mate. Did you see or hear anything about sunken temple? Yeah, I was watching um, Alondo's group, where I, none of the above. I was just watching his POV last night, and uh, kind of what Wacklow was saying is just, it seems like they just have too much health, and obviously the world first, they were going all mages, because they were the highest DPS last base, so they probably thought that would be the fastest, and they're just all going oom before the fight's even over. And it just seems like they... May have overtuned it. I think it was still cool to see people not clear the raid on the first day. Like, I think that's kind of what we've been waiting for, you know, yeah. with Classic, Wrath, TBC, everything. All It's all been figured out and sorted beforehand. And in this case, it's been uh, people actually figuring it out as they go. Because obviously the earlier raids were pretty easy, you know, N nothing, nothing too difficult in BFD or Nomer, but this... Uh, like uh, Wackla was saying, too, the mechanics don't seem super complicated, but yeah, it's just them having so much health. It's, it's almost boring in a sense. Like, just watching them cast one spell over and over for 15 minutes and right. the same one or two mechanics being repeated. So is this, is this all yeah. fights? Do they all look a little bit boring? What's going on? The main one I saw with that was the two dragons, Weaver and Dream Scythe. That one seems incredibly repetitive and uh, just, yeah, like the health is the barrier. Yeah, I'm the, I, the, gotcha, the, gotcha. The, what is it? What's the word? Uh, the spawn in the corridors seems interesting to seeing it, but I could imagine that it's just, you know, if it takes 10 minutes, then it's also boring. Mm. It, it just, well, I mean, I'm not part of the banks and crew nobody none of us is but it just seems like okay these bosses have as much as hp as patchwork how can that be mm. tested how can they, what, what yeah i don't know it's, it's just like but this can't it just seems so ridiculous that there must have been someone who thought this was a good idea right. well to, to I, ask um, the question sorry sorry you be just uh answer this one i'll just weave this in as nubbed is saying in twitch chat how complicated are these two mechanics that we're seeing over and over again compared to like noma is it is it the case do you think maybe tim has overcompensated for the feedback from noba or or not yubi um I don't... Th well, I've only had one review from Wanda, and he's saying it's a lot harder than Noma. Right. He says it's mechanically harder than Noma. Okay. So I'm getting a completely opposite review to what these guys are saying, but I've only watched a little bit of Twitch myself. I don't think... I can't tell from watching a stream whether it's better or worse than Noma mechanically, mm. like for 
if it's fun to do. Oh, but we'll hold off on the review because none of us have fucking done it. Yeah. So this is all a bit unfair because we're just going off of like yeah. videos. Well, we'll I mean, keep that in one mind. thing that must be said for sure is Last Boss, which everyone's still hung up, hung up on, it can't be just a issue of uh, slog. It must actually be difficult in some way. Yeah. Because... I mean, someone must have had the idea of getting eight, uh, eight warriors in. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't just yeah, be that, right? I think something I'd like to mention, like our mate Wonder, they're they're a, they're a decent guild, and they were pushing for like server first on our Aussie server. Mm. So they're not they're not a none of the above, for example. They were six of eight, fucking twelve well, hours ago. How hard one. can the place be if they yeah, were six yeah, of eight yeah, already? Enough. Clearly, they've just done the same thing with the last two or the last boss is a significant step up. But in terms of kill times, I've watched a few streams, and like you said, we're not doing that much more damage than Noma Gear. That's because they've rushed in there. Some of these guys don't even have their best runes because rogues didn't have the knowledge of where our best rune is yet. Yeah. But Sims say we're going to do double the damage of what we were in Noma, and the Sims are very rarely wrong. So these guys are literally just trying to do ST as a bunch of Noma geared raiders doing Noma damage. When we're doing double, they won't take 15 minutes to kill these yeah. dragons. They haven't gone to dungeons and tried to get any upgrades yeah. or anything like that. The, yeah. the, the carrot of the world first is too eluding for them to go and grind dungeons for half a day. But I don't, I don't see any of these as a problem because I'm watching and yeah, they're doing, they're doing 800 DPS. We're going to be doing 1800 DPS mm. when you get the gear. And if you if they're dropping shitloads of loot like they said that they would, if you're doing six of eight for a week, that's a lot of items injected into your raid. So I'm not too stressed. I think it, it looks in a good place, but I haven't got in myself. We're going on Monday because we're letting more guys hit fifty. Yeah, stuff. too easy. No, it is a very alluring thing for sure. Um you other guys, anyone else want to say anything before we move on from Sunken Temple and early impressions? I've got a tinfoil hat theory. Hit me. Bear with me. Uh, I was about to say exactly the same thing. You, can, <laughs> you go first. Okay, yeah. So, Season of Discovery, they said, was supposed to be... Uh, supposed to have content that you could have a, a beer with a group of pubs. Yeah, the beer and test. Be able to clear that, the that's content. the countdown to classic trademarked beer test. Mm -hmm. And then... It, it's kind of been that way for phase one, phase two. It, it's been difficult at times, those last couple bosses, mm -hmm. sure. Oh, I but, think I could do the last boss with the beer in hand now in Noma. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, we would get to that point. But even day one, it was smashed through and no problem. And then now we get to Sunken Temple and the top guilds can't rush to the level cap and clear the content like we've seen the first two phases. So my theory... Is Blizzard intentionally made the bosses "quote unquote" impossible to clear for the first week, so that they could say, "Hey, guys, look, we didn't gatekeep and allow everybody to level up to fifty, and then not release the raid for another five days or six days, depending on what server you're on." But they made it to where it wouldn't be clearable by anybody, so. I they wanted to put a too. challenge out there, yeah, but the challenge was too hard. So now if they go and nerf it, the top guilds are going to be like, well, now it's too fucking piss easy. Like, what did you guys do to our, our hard content that we got to see and experience and mm -hmm. had a challenge with? So I, I think if, if that was their... If that was their intention, then they might have shot themselves in the foot with all the quote unquote content creators that are out there pushing because then now everybody's going to have to sit in their streams and hear them bitch about how face roll. All right, we'll go is Zund post nerf. Zunder, then Arcos. I'd Sorry, go to Zunder. Oh, yeah, mine's real quick. I was just kind of agreeing with Go. I was thinking maybe I wonder if for the first week they just inflated the health for the sake of this. Uh, Hmm. All the sweaty people doing it, and then they're going to nerf it. Fair, um, fair enough. Yubi, we about yeah, to jump if in. This is, if this is like how the health is going to be, it, like uh, Yubi was saying, kind of like, Nef or maybe it was someone else, sorry, but it was like Nefarian levels of HP. If people can still kill it now, then it kind of cements or makes me think that they could just re release MC and not change anything and make it a 20 man as well. If we're still able to kill this stuff with right. ridiculous, sorry, real quick, UB, were you going to say something? Um, just yeah, like we're doing fucking TBC tier DPS, like phase one, doing like Karazan level DPS numbers for some classes. I don't think it having Nef Nef HP levels is too alarming. Ba the numbers at 
phase three best sims so it'll be interesting i don't rule out that they could be trolling but i don't think that they would actually troll because if they just come out and go guess what minus 50 percent hp next week that will just fuck off like the entire top 10 percent of the population mm. but um, you have to do minus 50 percent uh, sorry to interrupt you right no you go the the HP values are just so high. I mean, there's three fights over seven minutes. I'm looking at Welcome, like a very high-ranked NA guilds prog. Um, three fights over seven minutes. If you count Aranicus, clearly two fights in like the 12-plus minute range. Like, casual players in full BIS are going to struggle on these fights at current balancing. So they're going to have to take a huge nerf hammer to these fights. Or else this is going to be like, Ulduar prog. Well, well, like uh, it's going to be significant progression week over week, which isn't what people are looking for. So I'm they, glad you've raised that. Any choice. Arcos, we'll get to your conspiracy theory in a second. I'm glad you've raised that, uh, Wacklo, because I was going to read, read uh, this message in Twitch chat, which is on a similar note um, from Lupus Deus, who says, from what I've seen, a number of attempts across Noda, um, you know, Echo, Arpy's group, not many of them have BIS runes and only have some BIS gear, like we were saying earlier. Um, I don't think it should be nerfed just because it can't be cleared in eight hours let them fall you know at closer to bis levels before they hit it with the nerf bat now i don't know if this crowd here might be split somewhat on that point but like i i tend to i hear what you're saying wacklow but i i tend to lean towards the weight angle and, and i've been big on this in phase one and phase two where i mean we're, we're literally it's groundhog day all over again we've literally done this every phase and we'll continue to do it every phase where you know something's hard at the start lo and behold we don't have the gear and shit like that and then after a week or two we start clearing it and i'm like that's kind of how mmos are supposed to go isn't it in a raid um so i'm like don't nerf off the day one reactions. Let's wait and actually see what happens here. And I'm really glad that Noma didn't get nerfed. I think Noma was great. People were screaming for Noma to be nerfed in the first few days and week. You know what I mean? But like now I, I accept that Sunken Temple might be a different example here. If they've really gone nuts with the HP pools, I don't know. I'm yet to see it. But I'm always on the side of fucking holds on the nerfs rather than pull the trigger too quickly. Yeah. I would. I'd go, like go, to go. know how many people on the the Blizzard team tested this raid and was able to clear it, or did they test it and they're like, "Oh fuck, well we can't clear it, but surely there's going to be a guild out there that can." Let's let's tune it a little bit harder, even though we can't clear this ourselves. Or did they go in there with like full pre bis gear, according to like their internal numbers? Did they go in there with full like actual best in slot gear with all the runes? Like I, I would love to have like a behind the scenes look at mm. how they tested this raid with oh. what gear and what comp. You it's know? it's the documentary they won't let me make. Get me in there with a fucking camera in the classic office behind the scenes, yeah. you cowards. I would make a fucking killer documentary about that shit. But anyway, Yubi, quick comment, then Arcos, then Rhett. I don't want to take it on the tangent, but I I just firmly disagree with the whole fucking marketing campaign of do sod with a beer in hand. Nomragon is harder to do with one hand than literally any fucking raid in all of vanilla, like, mechanically. I'd rather go do C'Thun and make me hold my crisp Asahi in hand, and I can do it probably better than Thermaplug or Menagerie with one hand. These raids are already harder than anything we did in vanilla, but for some reason we're just telling ourselves that they're not, because they're 10 mans. Fuck it, one-handed gamers rise up. I don't care what you got the hand on, it's our time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm down for them for sync. It is it really that bad if they do end up making it a bit weaker next week? But it gave the fucking top two percent something to chew on for 48 hours. I don't think it's that bad. Mm, I right. need a raid I can do with one hand on my dick, one hand on the beer, <laughs> and use my nose to play with. <laughs> Fair enough. Unique ubiquitous is fucking knuckles deep while he's raiding. I, I get it. I get it. Arcos, my friend, drag us out of the gutter. Tell us your conspiracy theory. I think um, well, the, the conspiracy theory I have is that they they stealth buffed the raid when they saw how incredibly quick people were leveling. I don't think they I don't think anyone expected leveling to be this quick. Even though we might have guessed that it would be quick, not this quick. Hmm. And I think they they threw um, extra health on the bosses just because they were 
a little bit afraid it would last, you know, all of three minutes. Okay. And this is where, where, where it's gotten us. Um, I think they would have uh, nerfed it if the raid had been finished. If one guild had finished it, like last night, I think they would have uh, nerfed it immediately. And I think they're holding off because if they were to nerf it now, the like any guild that, that is inside the raid on the last boss, the first one to pull it after the nerf went live, they would win the World Trust Race. It doesn't matter who it is, like the moment they nerf it, the next guild to pull it, they win. And that's why they haven't nerfed it yet, I think. Is anyone uh, buying Arcos's tinfoil hat theory there? Have they, they went in and buffed it when they saw what was going on, or is he on an island? Well, I'm, I'm more I on the... With, uh, hey, so Shag, I Shagger than Zunder. Yeah, yeah, I agree with the second point, but not with the first. I think they buffed anything. But I do, I do see the point of for now that the people are still attempting it. Too easy. Too easy. Zunder? Oh, I was just uh, more on the road of, I think it was Go's point, that maybe they just uh, buffed it before it was ever released. and uh, Or not buffed it, but you know they just released it in an overtuned state so that for the first week or two people could struggle and it wasn't just uh, over in half an hour or something. But it's definitely possible that if the first couple fights were quicker and then, you know, fight four, five, six, took 12 plus minutes, then maybe they did just stealth buff it Fair midway enough. through the progression. Fair enough. Red, I'll throw it to you. I'll just say, it's Rob, I'm sorry. Apologies, mate. He jumped in for a second to make his point, but he only had one minute online to be able to do it. So I'll say it for you. He wanted to say, uh, I think it's amazing that they buffed it to the moon. It prevents the FOMO. We don't need to uh, rave it. Sorry, we, we don't need to rave. It gives the sweat something to fight over week one. Then next week, everyone can do the real version. So that was Rob's point he wanted to make. Rhett, mate, how are you? Good. Good, good. Sorry to make you wait, mate. What did you want to jump in and say? I was just going to say just... Uh... Let these guys work on it. It's only the game's only been out for whatever, 24 hours or a little over that. Let them go get their runes. Let them go get their gear. Let them retool. Let them try again. If it goes a couple weeks and nobody can kill it, then maybe think about nerfing it. But let, I think you should let the content breathe. Um, the first two raids, I'm not saying they were piss easy. PF, BFD, I felt like, was piss easy. But uh, the other raids were still relatively easy compared to Sunken Temple, it sounds like. I, I haven't done it. But uh, just here, I mean, looking at a all the high end guilds, if nobody has killed it after twenty four hours, I would say it's probably pretty hard. And just just let the game breathe. I think um, uh, one thing with Arcos, what he said about the content or about the them stealth nerfing nerfing it, um, I kind of wonder if they're worried that they may run out of content really fast again, and that we're back in that same boat. I, I don't know. They just. Just hearing hearing him say that made me wonder about that. Mm. Well, well, we'll come back to that. I mean, I, I'm with you. I think you know, t fuck, changing it after 24 hours is probably too soon, Executors. But we'll we'll see. Look, the team knows whether or whether or not they've gone to silly proportions here. So we will see. Um, but on the content thing, we we might sort of we might get off the sunken temple note because I think we've probably said everything we need to say on that one. But um, you know, we definitely need, we need more time before talking about it. We need to do it. We need to know a bit more about it before we really start, you know, half reviewing this thing. Um, so please, everyone, take take everything you've heard with a grain of salt just now that we've talked about Sunken Temple. The, the game is literally 20... The phase is 24 hours old. We fucking don't know anything. But anyway, um, back on the content point there, Rhett. Um, you know, it's interesting that Ubiquitous and I were talking amongst the group yesterday going, you know, obviously the team hopefully realizes that they had a content issue in phase two and we'll see what they've got for us in phase three. I've not stepped foot in a dungeon yet, but like there was a bit of chat just before the phase came out about like, oh, how good is it? that they're changing all these dungeon items. That's something that needed to be done. Hopefully that gives us a reason to go to dungeons. But I don't know if this applies to many, and I don't know how many dungeons you guys have done. You know, it seemed to be the case that a lot of the items I was seeing from data mining were, were really things that more fresh characters would be interested in. And I was like, if you've spent any time in Noma, I don't know that I want any of these items. Now, I've not seen them all, so that's just a very, you know, in early knee-jerk reaction. Maybe there's something in Zulfarak I really, really want. Maybe there's something in Moradon I really, really want. There probably is. I've just not seen it yet. 
But we also talked about the rep grind in the nightmare. And I do want to bring it back to the nightmare incursions a little bit because we've got a bit more to talk about here. The rep grind in the nightmare incursions. I've not seen the fucking rewards beyond uh, friendly yet, but um, it is quite the grind. Like we kept saying, wow, like we're not making that much rep here. Like we are, we are slowly chipping away and it's not like it's like the world's longest grind, but it, it certainly wasn't fast. And I was like, well, yeah, I think that's a smart decision. They've they've given us something to do via this rep grind in phase three. I, I, it felt like a good rate to me, but I would love to hear from you other guys. And we've had someone just jump in now. Hideous John, my friend, how are you? Uh, good, thanks, mate. How are you? Mate, good. Good morning, sunshine. Now, look, mate, you've probably heard what I just said there. What did you feel on the rep grind? Um, I got to on it last night before I went to bed, there so it, it ramps a bit in the level 50 ones, but it's still going to be a substantial grind, I think, unless I, unless those emerald chips you get um, give you big rep boosts. I'm not sure what they do yet. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm about 2,000 off of on it, and like, for, 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 you know, people wondering how long that took, like, you, Ubiquitous, and I, and Voodoo, and um, Ubiquitous's friend Rain, we were in the Nightmare Incursions for about seven hours yesterday. Um, and, and oh, let me think, six of those seven hours I was on my Rogue, and I'm 2,000 rep below on it. So that's your, your measuring stick there, guys. Um, but, you know, however many quests I was doing in that time, I do not know. Um, how about you other guys? Are you welcoming of a good rep grind in phase three all i can say is i did about two to three hours of them this morning and i didn't really play that much yesterday um and i got to like almost halfway through friendly and got five levels oh there and you go probably 80 gold no oh, you're doing it I better than was i was nerfed pretty substantially <laughs> uh I heard before there was someone in my old guild who said they got like 600 gold from doing them pretty much on release. Uh, but I think it's fine, like, if especially if the later ones give more rep and, you know, I'm at friendly, I got the rune, that's, you know, hooray. Uh, it's not a big deal. The phase is going to be at least a couple months, right, you would hope. And mm. so... I don't think you need to do it right off the bat. You can kind of grind it out as you go. Yeah. It, it ramps up quite a bit when you get to the hinterlands and feralist ones. And right. then at Honored, you do get a ring, if I'm not mistaken, that teleports you to a party member in their nightmare. So once you're Honored, it can be like, boys, let's go doing... Oh, I think I got that one at Friendly. You can... Oh, there's a trinket at Friendly. I'm pretty sure the ring to teleport is it on it is it the, M the green ring use enter sure. the dream of a target friend one hour oh, maybe it is but now you can just form a party on a whim and all of like as long as someone's there i'm assuming you can teleport to it i think that's how it's how i was explained how it works i'm yet to go grab it there you go uh, yeah, let no me, travel time speeds it up let me throw it around jar what do you reckon of the rep grind are you happy with it something to do or what that's right, John. Jar's <laughs> Jar, in the dunny half the time. That's all good. Um, any of you other boys, jump on in. Go. What do you reckon? Or Rhett, Rhett, you go. Um, I don't have a problem with it, but I do feel like I'm the minority. I have heard from several people, in, like in my inner circle and just through like normal chat channels and game that a lot of people don't i'm not saying that the grind sorry Brett, you're breaking up mate you're breaking up we might we, we might have to come back to you mate you're just going all you're going all robot on us mate <laughs> can't hear me <laughs> hang on hang on, hang on. Red, sorry sorry I'll, I'll have to i'll have to edit this if i remember i won't remember sorry about that guys red 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 chill out chill. i'll have to mute you um you've gone full robot mate sorry hey uh shock we'll enter shock one into the chat talking about the rep grind with the nightmare phases mates um we also have to introduce shock one as a uh recent survivor of a day out on the piss with me so congratulations um, to him for that josh you gotta serve him yes. we're all still listening to yeah, red we're still here oh sorry 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 one sec 
server mute. He is it, still going. That's, that's, that is hilarious. <laughs> He's still talking. <laughs> He's Sorry too powerful. About that. He can't be muted. Sorry about that. Shock one, mate. Hit us with your thoughts on the rep grind in the Nightmare Incursions. And I was saying you're also here to tell us about your uh, survival of the night out on the piss with me or the day, the day out. Well, I was uh, just first thing, uh, good morning, everyone, or evening, wherever you're listening. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a good day. It was, a, I was quite surprised that we all got along quite well and we all sort of put the face to the voice, which was good. <laughs> everyone looked sort of what, they, what I envisioned, which was good. Right. Seemed like everyone was quite genuine. And handsome. Um, hmm? And handsome. Of course, especially <laughs> uh, Husky. Um, Punk, yeah. yeah same person isn't it exactly but um i was just going on about the the rep grind yep. uh personally i still remember the classic rep grinds and i know a lot of people are like it's not classic anymore it's classic plus but uh i've never been afraid of a good rep grind and if it has uh you know good rewards why not Everyone keeps saying that it's too fast. Why not slow it down a little bit? So do you reckon it's too fast now? Um, I think if they were going to re-release it, uh, do it do it fresh again from like 1 to 60 or whatever they're planning to do with it. Uh, personally, I think they would probably be worthwhile slowing it down a little bit. Um, I thought that although Noma, you know, was lacking content, I I also felt like it was a lot quicker than phase two. So I think we have sped up a little bit, even though there was I felt like there was less things to do in phase two compared to phase one. Uh I do think it's sped up a bit. All right. Well, how how slow are we talking though? Because as Punchy says, like Thorium Brotherhood, how many people got exalted? So I mean, I'd love to hear. Yeah, from exactly. you, yeah how many? You, you are the guys. I mean, it's, a, it's an interesting conversation. Like, it's not a particularly deep one, but like, you know, too fast, too slow, or just right. Let's get involved, Goldilocks. Who wants to chime in? The original Molten Core. Uh, what was that rep called? Something Water Lords rep that was too long yeah that rep was too hard too long you at a certain point got only rep from the bosses in molten core and that felt bad but i did like that there was a rep that did take a long time Mm. i don't want to see people be able to get exalted in the first day the first week even if it's gated somehow to where if the Nightmare Incursion event had daily quests and you couldn't just spam them and make thousands of gold, <laughs> had to bring it back there. No, good, but, good. Uh, we're getting there. If if you could limit it through dailies from that Incursion event and also have maybe rep from Sunken Temple for this phase and as an example, I would have loved that style of rep. So mm. hopefully I get to see that in phase four. Fair enough. All right, no, Ned, you've you've raised it, and I was trying to pull it back to the Nightmare Incursions because we've got a really chunky part of the conversation to get through in regards to Nightmare Com- Incursions that we haven't talked about yet, and that is like, you know, do you go daily? What, what are we doing here? This is the meta for leveling. Are we robbing the world of content by funneling everyone into the Nightmare Incursion? Let's fucking dive into it, boys, and I'm glad I've got a lot of you here to talk about this one. Um, before we get there, Voodoo, mate, you survived the day leveling with me yesterday. How are you? Good mate, how you going? Good, good <laughs> mate. Did you uh, did you get a good night's sleep and did you manage to fucking uh, get over uh, the trauma of yesterday? I was out like a light last night, mate. I tried cu- having a, a, a slight nap and coming back, but um, I lasted about ten minutes. I I told that the the world that my highlight from yesterday was the moment when we were waiting for the Shredder spawn. And uh, you said, right, let's fucking wipe this group of five and fuck them off. And you, me, and Marcus got stuck into them and they didn't put a dent in any of us and we fucking wiped them and it was a perfect moment. And then we turned around and realized that Ubiquitous and Rain hadn't lifted a finger the whole time because they were just waiting on the Shredder spawn. That was my highlight of the day. What was yours? I think that happened, I think that happened quite a few times. Every, every time we went into seemed to go missing. <laughs> what, was, what was one of your favorite moments? Um, mate, I'm trying to get my brain out of the what it is at the moment. Um, 
I don't really have any favourite moments. I think it was all a, a pretty good little level experience. Fair actually. enough. Didn't didn't we get well, someone in your kill on sight list at some stage? Um, yeah, we did, but they only went on my kill on site because of the nightmare incursion. Oh, they were a new addition to the kill on site they list. Were a new addition, oh, that doesn't yeah. count. Yeah, that doesn't count. The revenge factor isn't very high on that one. Wait, um, Tom, 50. <laughs> all right boys look let's get stuck into this hear me out when i raise this um pretty deep point and and we'll just have to sort of line up and go you know we'll hear from you one by one as we can or first in best dressed boys there's a very fair argument here about where nightmare incursions are to sit in the leveling meta or, or our lives as sod players with leveling our mains or our alts from this day forth um, you know, like I said, my take is this is a good inclusion, a great new addition to the game. However, I don't think it is perfect. And like the Ashen Vale, like the uh, STV events, you know, day one was a bit wonky and then there were tweaks getting made. We were just on the show last episode a week ago saying there is no doubt whatsoever fucking ever that these nightmare incursions will look very different a week after launch than they did on day one. And we're living that right now in the moment. Now, things like terms like daily limits and whatnot have been raised and i know that is a term that makes a lot of classic players cringe and say dailies have no place whatsoever in the classic world but i want to throw this out there for discussion in a world in which we saw people zooming to 50 for being able to spam these nightmare incursion quests and kind of the after effect that that had on the world now ubiquitous and i and, and all the boys in voodoo and 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 uh hideous john were talking about this all day going like how do you guys feel about this? How do we feel being here with the whole server in this one small space spamming these quests together and leveling? And we really kind of tried to, as maturely as we could, weigh up the pros and the cons of what was happening and what was unfurling before our eyes, where I, I thought what we were doing was fun. And this is, I, I must say, guys, the majority of the day, we were doing all the quests. We weren't doing the escort quests, but we were doing everything else. We were doing the kill quests. We were doing everything. We were having fun. It wasn't until the very end of the day that we were like, oh, let's just trial the meta of the non-kill quest route. And that's when things got a bit wonky. But we were just fucking around and having fun before that. And we really loved it. So taking that fun into account, we were saying, well... Other people would just be dungeon spamming right now. Like, you know, we, we all know that 90% of the fucking player base gets, there, get in, gets in there in the first few days and all they do is dungeon spam. It's been just the way it goes for, for whatever. Um, you know, then there's the, the purists out there who are obviously like, no, like you should be out there questing. And, and, and sorry, this isn't just a purist take. It's also been Blizzard's take where it's like, hey, fuckheads, it's season of discovery. Get out there in the open world and discover these runes. We literally, like the world is the main character. We have, we want to encourage you to get out there and rediscover the old locations and find new shit. And the player base for a long time has said, you know, looked square, looked Blizzard square in the monocle and said, nay, and they just dungeon grind. And so I guess Blizzard had a moment where they were like, all right, these fuckheads showed us in phase two they have no interest in leveling uh, any other way but dungeon grinding, even in a world where we've designed all this, you know, fun new things for them to find via rune. So they've flipped the middle finger to us and said, fuck you, devs, we're going to go, you know, do this thing in dungeons. How do we combat that? And that's how Nightmare Incursions came to be. They were like, well, you know, if they're going to say fuck you to us, we'll say fuck you right back and give them a fun, you know, what is effectively a, a bit of an instance content or a dungeon run in a way, but just they've got all the server around them, all these players, PvP can happen. This will be great. It's kind of like dungeon leveling, but a new, you know, spin. I know it's very different, but you guys know what I'm saying with this. They wanted to craft an alternative and save us from ourselves and the monotony and boredom of dungeon grinding. And people are screaming, going, I find dungeon grinding fun. Cool. Sit over there, Hans Molman. I'm just, we'll get to you in a second. Um, this rant, boys, is going towards this point. Having spammable nightmare incursion quest, is it a good or a bad thing in the long run? And should some form of a cap be brought in to encourage players to actually engage with the world outside of the nightmare incursion? Because we do have the whole server here leveling now because it is the meta and people want to say there'll always be a meta, Josh. Well, what if there doesn't always have to be a meta? What if we did something crazy? And my suggestion in the Discord, and again, guys, just send all your hate mail to me after this episode. My suggestion was... Look, 
what if we gave people the veritable smorgasbord of options here where you can dungeon grind, you can nightmare incursion, you can quest. How do we do that? Well, you know, fuck. What if for the first week or until you hit level cap, you can only do five dungeons a day? What if on top of that, you could only do 20 to 25 nightmare incursion quests a day? And then that at some point forces the player to go out and quest as well if they want to get anywhere. And while they're questing, what are they going to do? Look for runes. So I know players hate being told how to play, but I'm very much so from the school of thought where I say, fuck you, I don't care about you. You know, you want to forge your own fun and spam dungeons monotonously for fucking 12 hours and yell at me until you're blue in the face about fuck you, Josh, I find that fun. I would be the dev challenging that and going, you know what, fuck you, you're going to play the game a bit differently, my friend. Guys, yell at me all you want. We'll go through it one by one. Tell me if the Nightmare Incursions as is is a good thing or we should encourage play all around the world. Sorry, but the Sunken Temple just got nerfed by 30%. Are you, are you <laughs> serious? Oh, no. About, about 30 it. seconds into your monologue, the live, the, they hot fixed it with minus Way the, to go, the Josh. You've done it again. Oh, <laughs> we're all I... like, we were here tapping our toes going, it got nerfed, it got nerfed. Have I ruined <laughs> SOD again? I... <laughs> you can edit can that down? after this <laughs> oh well there yeah, you go that's old news now down, sorry anyway okay 30 percent nerf is in there it is it's done after i just did my whole like you know 24 hours is a bit early for a nerf it goes to, it goes to show what i know about game dev so take that all into account as you're listening to that fucking massive monologue i just did all right guys on the monologue where are we at spammable nightmare incursion quests who feels what I'm fine with it. Same. I think it's fine. Yeah, I like it. I actually enjoyed it. I did like five, five and a half hours or something. Mm. It was I think it's kind of fun. Only I'll if it went say. live that way. If it if they change it now, I'm not gonna fucking do it. Like there's no yeah, shot I'm even same. going there. Like it, the event is over for me at that point. What what do you mean? If yeah, they change what? I agree. If they've already changed the gold, which really disincentivized me from going there already and then if they also reduce the amount of quests that i could do that's further reducing the gold that i could get for one and reducing the xp for two no 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 no, no. but like, let's, let's no. say they no, no i'm gonna call bullshit here not talking about experience nerfs though go let's say it's still the the quote unquote you know, meta for leveling and it's vastly better experience per hour than anything else you could do in the game, but you could only do it for an hour and a half of the day, you would still go there. No, I wouldn't oh, because I would on. have to take come time on. to get there and then like find another spot after I'm done with completing it. No, no, I'd, I'd, I'd like going to one place, one zone for a couple hours yeah, like and the, the, doing this, but this is yeah, dungeons this, this is what i'm saying you, you catch the flight to the nightmare incursion you get a couple of hours there you are getting let's say one and a half times more experience than you would anywhere else in the world i i, I have to kind of call bullshit on i wouldn't do it because this is what wow players do i'm well it, it's yeah. already too late though because people are going to be world pvping at this point i have a feeling so if i if it did get changed and then i go there for my hour and a half that yeah, would maybe be an hour and a half if there was no competition. Fair, but we're, th no, we're, we're throwing in a lot of ifs here. We're throwing in a lot of maybes and ifs. Like, oh, I presume by then world PvP would be a thing. Well, it wasn't on the first day. So, like, I get what you're saying, but we're not there yet. Sorry, Zunder, was that you? Who was just jumping in? Oh, yeah, I was just saying I believe Go. He's a, he's a different breed. But also, on the lines of world PvP, I did see quite a bit in the Nightmare Incursion, specifically camping a few of the... Uh, you know, the notes on the ground that you have to pick up. Mm. There would just be people sitting there, standing on top of them, fearing mm. you away and AoEing it the whole time. Well, I don't... Crusader Strike, at least. I don't and doubt just, that that's going to start People were like, happening. fuck it, we're going to skip that one. Yeah. Uh, we're not doing that one today. I don't doubt that that's going to eventually start to happen. All, all I can say is what we saw on day one is like, I saw a lot of Reddit comments and everyone's gameplay is different and experience is different. I get that. But like, like I say, we were in there for seven hours. I saw a lot of angry comments on Reddit about this is bullshit. People keep killing me. Why is PVP a thing? Blah, blah, blah. You know, all the bullshit. Mate, I, 
I died three times. I, I had three occurrences, and maybe Voodoo and, and uh, Marcus, you can chime in on this as well, and Ubiquitous. I had three occurrences in seven hours of some guy going out of his way when I got separated from the pack to, to blow me up. And I will probably, agree that probably it's not on his kill on sight list. often either. Yeah, yeah, and I was probably on their kill on sight list. Sorry, Zunder, you said something? Uh, I was just going to say, I agree that it's not it's not an uh, overwhelming amount of PvP. It's not super common, but it is those specific, like, weirdly placed objects you need to pick up. People that just get, I don't know mm. why they do it. Mm. They just get fed up, maybe, and yeah. they're like, oh, I can't oh. fucking click it. Everyone's standing on it. I'm just going to kill everyone now. But, but I... yeah, for the most part, there wasn't that much PvP, and be honest after i did it for three hours i could be 50 right now probably if i kept doing it but yeah. it got it got pretty boring to to your point though go you're right because people will be hitting 50 and the trolls you know that the sweat lords are you divide them up into different categories there are the guys who hit 50 and then continue on to make a fortune in gold there are the guys who 50 hit 50 straight away and then go get their gear and raid. and there are the guys who hit 50 who maybe just go you know what I'm just going to pick on lower level characters for a while. And they are a smaller portion of the Sweat Lords. But like there will absolutely be now that they have the time up their sleeve and they've hit 50 people who go back to the Nightmare Incursion and just fuck with everyone else. I totally accept that. Um, but like Voodoo, like how many times do you reckon you died in the seven hours realistically while we were there? In terms of like not, being picked on, like not group fights. Overly too much, to be honest. Like... Yeah, fuck all, really. Yeah. Marcus, do you remember? Um, the only time I would die in, like, a PvP encounter was, like, if we lost a team fight, this didn't happen very often. Yeah. Um, or if people got the shits with me fearing them off um, mining nodes, <laughs> like, repeatedly. Yubi, I think they got you, like, twice. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like the old, oh, people grief this pickup quest thing is like some fucking urban legend that doesn't actually happen in the game because I play fuckloads and I legitimately never, ever see it. And Australians are all cunts, mate. Yeah, but I, I, would believe it, I would believe the cru Crusader Strike grief. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's, I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but somehow it's like, it's as if... The way it's mentioned, it's as if it happens fifty percent of the time, and it doesn't. No, it was the it was the one quest too. You know the one there's there's like a note on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, where all the yeah. uh, center or wherever the fuck the, the site is. Are. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. It was that one that was specifically people were just mm. being cunts about. And, and it's probably I was so confused why. I was on I was oh. on Crusader Strike this morning, and any time the the egg that note or the forge box got bugged and no one could get it it seems as though everyone clicks it and they're like no it's fucking broken and then they just start killing each other out of frustration <laughs> that's yeah. usually it's why possible. they're taking this it's because it's not working and they're like well this guy's breaking it so they mm. we just that's what we did we did that a few times if the box wasn't working we're like i think this gnome broke it let's kill him just and so then we kill him i couldn't him even tell if it up. was uh... <laughs> I couldn't tell if it was broken or not because there were so many skeletons yeah. on top of it. I didn't even know if it was clicking it or not. On the on yeah. the change they made though to the interaction with items, like obviously within the first like I think it was like six or seven hours into the day, they hot fixed it so that you didn't have like you know your normal cast bar interaction with an item, and like people were losing their fucking minds on the forums again, going like, "How can you be so fucking stupid to you know no, I can't get these items?" Blah blah blah. I mean, I I mean. I get that it was a light frustration, but like I didn't have any drama getting the item every time. Like, you know, maybe once or twice you'd be like, oh, that item's already being interacted with. It wasn't like a huge problem. I was still getting it all the time. I don't know how you guys felt. The um the campfire in front of that tent griefed me more than any player interrupting my cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever did. <laughs> and like don't <laughs> get me <laughs> yeah. Don't get me I wrong. Think... They made the right change making it now instantly be able to pick up. That's the perfect solution and probably how it should have been from the, the very start. But like it, it people been like they couldn't play the game before. Like I don't know. Sorry, someone was gonna say something. I cut you off. Uh, like like that said, like we didn't experience much PvP, but Punchy was in the level forty one last night at around 10 30 and it was just me and him in the discord and the ceasefire was beginning to break there yeah. was level 50s <laughs> in there starting to just wreck the lower players yeah, and stuff yeah because yeah. they could right? so, that, so that's to go's point who he's right to be fearful of pvp now is a is a very like um valid concern i get that
But in saying that, John, as well, with our five man group, I mean, we always had one that wasn't there. <laughs> he won't. He won't <laughs> let it go. He won't let it go, Yuvi. Well, I think maybe what they could do to fix the PPP issue is just have a different zone for max level characters. Yeah. Well, they do. Well, they, they have they their do. own two zones that they should fuck off to to get more rep faster. Have, yeah, but what like, I mean is they could just not allow like, have it. In. When you walk through the portal, when you're max level, it just zones you to a different... A separate should just spot. fucking yeah. kill them and put a big message on their screen. The you're in the is, wrong area, buddy. The problem is it's yeah. not instanced. I don't think you can stop them from walking through the door. Mm. It is, though, because when you're on the other side, you get that little eye uh, on your party members, which would, to me, say that it is instance in some way. But you don't get a loading well, screen or anything when you go through. No, yeah, but you, I, you, you don't get, the get a debuff, loading screen. Yeah. What you, you could do is they could debuff. put the debuff so that when it reads that you're max level and you've got that debuff, you're um, in a different zone, mm. or they could just put it so that you're but, not PvP flagged so that max levels can't grief. I don't... I don't oh yeah, sorry. Well, you're not but... instanced. Rather, you're uh, in a different phase. So I don't well, know. How if that works. then they're never going to shepherd yeah. a player five levels higher than you, away from where you are. Like that, just they've never done it. They never will. Yeah. Otherwise, no, I, I don't they, think they wouldn't. They, they wouldn't let level sixties kill grade level players. Like that, that's the level of change. That let me let at. me drag us back on point, boys, because I, I do want to hear. Leave griefers alone, guys. They get the bad <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> um, let me drag you back on point, boys. I want to hear from more of you on whether or not it is a good or a bad idea to limit the amount of nightmare incursion quests you can do per day and whether nightmare incursions being the meta is a good or a bad thing for MMO leveling gameplay. I think if they did limit it, there would need to be another way to get rep. Because I think the reason you would limit it is, you know, have people questing and leveling elsewhere. But at the same time, you want to be able to complete your rep grind without it being super gated like you could do with the supply and demand, right? So I don't think, I don't really think you can limit it in that sense. Well, in, on, in that vein, couldn't you just be more generous with the rep? Yeah, you could be. Mm. But then say, you, you know, I want to do this rep grind in one day. I'll sit here for 15 hours if it takes that. Uh, if they did limit it to say 20 a day, then then you'd just be making it too easy at the same yeah, time. But uh, it's, a, it's a weird balance, right? Yeah, I guess you could do like a, a less efficient open world grind of some yeah, sort. Yeah, exactly. Um, on the really? question you just asked, though, Josh, um, I think a limit would be great. I mean, I think the event's well done for what it is, but honestly, it ended up being a lot like a dungeon in that there's no interaction with any players outside your group and you're doing the same exact content over and over. Uh and that's the type of leveling I end up doing every time because I, like many players, just like follow the path of least resistance to getting to max level because you know you have obligations to your guild uh, to be ready and prepared for the raid and you don't have infinite time often. So I, I would love it if they put a 5 cap on instances per day and a 20 cap on, on the event mm -hmm. and just said, besides that, you know, you're, you're shit out of luck if you want to do something to level, go quest, go do you know the way people leveled in in two thousand four. Mm. Yeah, and uh, concerning the rep, I mean, they didn't you know in a way you couldn't get your war song gulch rep in one day. So why do you have to be able to get every rep within a day? I don't like that it could be gated if you did dailies. I don't like knowing that my max rep today is feasibly this and that's it. And in regards to leveling, if you put the 25 limit daily, I will park all my alts at the portal. I will do as many as I can in a session that's efficient. And then I will log off and I'll wait for the next day. I won't no, go but what if, else. My, my suggestion was what if you somehow, you know, what if you didn't cap rep, experience, uh, rep uh, points or whatever, but just experience points? And gold. Uh, if there's if there's an outside source that you can just grind like Timbermore, you can just kill those fuckers all day long and get <laughs> rep. Um, I I like those. I like that being an option for people that really want to push. Um, I still like that's. I'm on that camp. I will. It's like 
leveling in BFD when you were level 25 to 40, I just left my alt at the portal. Mm. Yeah. And if I yeah. wanted to level an alt for one level, I'd just do a BFD and log out. I didn't fucking do anything mm. else. Like, yeah. I, I would just, if you tell me that the most efficient leveling is locked to 90 minutes a day, then I'll just level 90 minutes a day. I'm not going to travel to and from this shithole to go do mm. inefficient quests on my own but, somewhere, so unless I'm desperate to level. My overall point is, like, my main concern here is the experience. I'm staring at the experience, and I'm like, at the end of the day, we've something has been built where the whole server is converging. Like, we've got this huge fucking map, this huge map. And the whole, and I, I get that this happens for expansions and everyone points at Hellfire Peninsula and goes, Josh, what about Hellfire Peninsula? But the whole server is converging on one tiny fucking area and leveling awesome. and exactly. staying there for 10 hours and leveling the whole way. And the reason why it's just more of a concern than usual is like we say, like we were told and sold on the concept of this being the season of discovery where we're supposed to go and engage with the old world in new ways and literally get our abilities out in the world. No runes are being discovered because no one is out in the world trying to discover them. So like, this is why I'm sort of, I'm not like pushing for it, but this is why I'm raising on the food for thought point just to challenge people and say, do you really honestly feel when we're weighing up all the pros and cons of MMO gameplay that having people exclusively level in the nightmare incursions is a good thing at the end of the day because it directly spits in the face of what SOD is all about, in my humble opinion. Now, I'm not saying nightmare incursions aren't fun. I agree with you, Ubiquitous. We talked about this yesterday. I'm on board. Nightmare incursions are fun. They're a wonderful addition to the game. But it's the manner in which they're being rolled out that I think needs to be challenged and 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 just considered, because I think that we should. I think a good leveling experience for an MMO player base is having people fucking spread out everywhere. I don't know. Call me crazy. I I, I, was, I did say yesterday that I, I it felt weird to me, like it did feel weird to me. Um, not that it was it was it was a lot different to what I was expecting and used to. I guess. Yeah, it'd feel weird, um, and I'm still, like, the jury's still out on my decision on whether I think it's a good or a bad thing mm. to. If you nerf the, uh, the t uh, like, to 20 or whatever, people are just going to go to dungeons, and then if you nerf, then you're talking about nerfing dungeons to a five-time reset, mm. that's just a whole different can of worms, because it, it, it just causes a whole group of people that love to do dungeons all day whether they're boosting whether they're soloing it for gear and items like the hunters and stuff and that stuff's fun like i don't i find it fun for people to work out how to kill the entire instance in one pull i think that's awesome uh whether it's bad for the game i don't know but i just think it opens these cans of worms to nerf the the reset i don't know if they want to do well, that that's fine look if we can't find the reds, let's go let's go out there now like the one the one thing know. i'd say just on the on the values behind like this is this is where it the, the you know the key is in the details here of what kind of experience numbers we're we talking about behind these nightmare nightmare quests because like i think there is a way to and again, I'm not like, I don't necessarily, I'm not the world's biggest daily guy, but it's it's only a thing while leveling. This isn't dailies for the lifetime of the phase. This is, you know, the fucking 12 hour journey to level 50. This is how I'm talking about putting caps on it. But like you put, you look at the values and go, well, it's still fine for nightmare incursions to be the meta in terms of like these, these quests reward a lot of experience. That's the cherry on top to get people engaging with new content when they might be a bit hesitant. But like, and this is what I was saying with Go. You make it so that they still want to go there for two hours. Oh, boys, we've got to go do our two hours today in the Nightmare Incursion because we're leveling these characters and we want to level them quickly. So they still want to get out of the dungeon and go, but they have to stop at a certain point because otherwise they just sit there all day. I think there is a balance there, don't you reckon, Jar, if you make yeah, the, the numbers a, right? Yeah, not a bad point there. I do agree. I think um, it could be a thing. Hmm. Because you'd do it. Yeah. The, the WoW gamers would do it. They they obviously, like Moss to the Flame, go to what the most, like the best experience is. Yeah, yeah, and for sure. I, yeah, I don't have any strong opinions against it. Like, I just think nerfing the dungeons would be something that I'd be like, no, here we go again. Um, 
but yeah i think yeah if it was something like a two-hour thing you know that'd probably open up the world a bit more and it's mm -hmm. still giving people you know a massive chunk especially for the most part uh, casual gamers like a big chunk of their time can just be in those incursions still um yeah i, I think it might be good because it could also stop the um the botting issue that we were speaking about before so i think there's a balance there for sure i'd, I'd like to offer up to the group then a hypothetical let's just say I can level to 10 hours out in the world questing. I can level to 50 in 10 hours out in the world questing. Well, no, you can't because the zones would be all contested as fuck and you wouldn't get anything done. That is literally un... You can't come over that. The, 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 that's the reason why questing always falls behind the others' options is because the zones are fucked. Because, sure people, roll, because people roll on PvP servers and they don't enjoy PvP, yes. Yeah, <laughs> but so let's just say if all three options... If you could incursion, dungeon grind, or open world quest at 100k an hour, what would you have done this phase? I would have done incursions regardless. Same, man. Like, no, I, I agree. I just want to sit there because I, 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 I don't care. I, I find it, yeah, I could sit there. I don't know how long I'll last with that opinion, but I could sit in that incursion and, and do that. That's what my choice would be also because it's, it's, it's the It's the new thing. Yeah, and new. It's not ZF for the thousandth time. Yep. And there's no fucking way I can guarantee you getting 100k questing because there's other players griefing yeah. you that mm. aren't happening in the incursion mm. because, like, there mm. is no gain. We're all getting enough mobs and stuff, and there's too many people. Mm. Whereas once you're spread out in the world, you know, there's especially if you're at the front, there's only 40 guys in this zone to wipe the other party or the solo because you're not actually mm. in a party when you're questing. Like, there would have to be significant questing changes to even have it stand on one leg against dungeon spamming or incursions. That's the problem. You raise a fair point. But I just want to launch into... Sorry, Jay, I'll throw it to you in a second. I just want to say that um, it's fair to... Like, I, I prefer the nightmare incursions over dungeon spam as well. 100%, I'm with you there. And it is the fairest point, and we got stuck into sort of the kind of people that, that raise this comment a lot through the day, Ubiquitous, is like a lot of the comments coming through on the reddit were like oh how fucking ridiculous is this nightmare incursion shit look how quickly people are leveling oh my god and it's like mate they would have been doing the exact same thing like speed wise in a dungeon like all these people with the pedal to the metal getting to fucking cap you know within you know, five to ten hours in nightmare incursions would have been spamming dungeons and doing it anyway. It wasn't like that much faster, in my humble opinion. Like the sweats were gonna sweat and get there. And like as a casual, I don't know, like ubiquitous, we started forty to forty two in SM. We were getting a level an hour. Yeah, we um like use Wonder as the example. He smashed us to fifty by like five hours and he didn't do incursions. He did the trusted bread and butter pre-quest you got like three levels from pre-questing they went straight to noma they fucking smashed zf and it was 55 hours before we were and we got to 50 pretty fucking quick yeah like even fucking around and all that we did a pretty good job and we still got floored by someone that just did the classic method that has been proven to be fast now though now that incursions have been min maxed they will be the fastest but you don't get that on day one so no. it's kind of irrelevant to say, but, oh, it's the reason why you got to 50 so quick, but when also, it actually wasn't. But also still, even with the meta being worked out, I'm not buying the whole, it's so much faster, it ruins the game thing. You know what I mean? Because I just, I don't feel it's that much faster that it makes that much of a difference. Sorry, Jar, I interrupted you before I, you go for it. No, uh, I think that was me. Oh, sorry, Wackley, go I, for it. Or, or, or were you talking, Jar? I, I also want to weigh in on this if I can. All right, go Jar, then oh. Wacklow. It wasn't me, sorry, it was someone else. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'll go. Um, so, I, fair enough that on, um, like, the the speed aspect of it, I mean, I think the speeds of pretty clearly dungeon leveling versus uh, doing the event are, are pretty comparable. You know, maybe one will end up being the optimal way, but in the end, they're pretty comparable. I think the issue at its core is that spamming dungeons or spamming the event i mean at the end of the day the event's just repeatable quests it's fun but it's not like reinventing the whole game here doing the same thing over and over is just like not as fun and the idea isn't to make questing competitive on an xp basis with these grinds the whole idea is to force people to quest because especially with this new layering technology where you can spin up 25 layers if you have to 
it's just a better experience if you're leveling in the open world and maybe 50 takes 15 hours instead of like 11 for the average player but that's that's kind of the point as well that that's again going back to what i said earlier in the call part of what makes vanilla pretty distinct and fun so i uh, so I hang, hang, hang on one second yubi um was that you shock before that was trying to jump in yeah yeah that yeah, was me go for it mate then we'll go to yubi after you uh just going back to your original point about the the trifecta of what they've got going on at the moment with the incursions and the dungeons and the you know world leveling uh a lot of people are saying that oh yeah if you if you leave it the way it was it was dungeon leveling and world leveling and people were going to sit in dungeons because sitting in dungeons is faster than doing the world leveling so you if you nerf dungeon leveling then all there is is world leveling and to be honest with you as it is slower but is it funner like a lot of people like you get to a point in world leveling where you sit in there and you're going you're looking at all your world quests and all you got is green quests and there's nothing you can do because there's it's either green or red and you get you don't get a lot of XP from red quests, and you get to a point where you have to go into a dungeon because there's nothing available for you. And if you nerf the leveling and dungeons, you get sort of like in this weird situation. Uh, I agree with you with regards to the incursion that maybe having uh, spammable quests is maybe not the right way of doing it. Maybe having like one or two quests that you can do that give you XP, and then the rest of them are just rep might be the better way of doing it. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm in this weird sort of situation where it's like if you nerf dungeon XP from dungeons, uh, you force people to go out in the open world. Yes, but is that funner? I don't. I don't. I don't know. It's... You think with a so fifty percent XP boost, you're gonna end up like handicapped by not having available quests? Yeah, the... I feel like you. I'm there right well, now. I, I guess that's the yes. other thing because a lot of people who talk about open world leveling. Uh, there'll be an argument where people will go, oh, do we need that 50% leveling boost? Because if you're talking about, like, leveling speed, you want everyone to go down to slower or faster, whatever, uh, there'll be arguments for or against that boost. No, but I, I, so, I agree that I think, I personally think the 50% experience buff completely solves the issue you're talking about. That, like, there are no... It hasn't. There, there, it hasn't? I, 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 no, I, I, I'm, I'm level, level 44 right now, and I can't find maybe three quests on Questy that are yellow. Everything else is, like, orange, red, or green. Mate, I like, just... Like, there's nothing I, I, in that I, sweet I'm spot. I'm so sorry, sorry. I hate to be that guy. Go, you know I love you, but I'm, I'm, I keep calling bullshit on you, and I don't mean it, like, personally, but, like, mate, I have leveled... So I'd many, I've, le I've leveled so many fucking times in vanilla, so many fucking times without experience buffs. And I know like the, the knock on vanilla is like, oh my God, I can't find any quests. But like, it really is something that doesn't pop up until like, you know, really like sort of, I don't know, the late, late forties, early fifties. Like if you, if you, and you know, you can mix in dungeons obviously, but like, I've always had quests to do and like it just I've never had a drama with it I've never been like I literally have no quests to do until I get to like I don't know fucking 53 or something I don't know I don't know but like I'm now, not we, saying now we've got no a quest for me to do yeah. but a lot of them are orange quests which mobs are hitting me extremely hard right now okay well wait I, let, let's ask though did you do out. every We're quest did you do now, every now, quest now. under the sun as pre-quest did you clear out i everything? know i i did like five pre-quests in uh stv no 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 but did you prior to getting ready for phase three did you do a shitload no. of quests for gold no 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 this is this is a pretty fresh tune on na because okay. like i just i don't know i Again, call me crazy. I feel like the, with the fifty percent experience buff, like you should never be left wanting for quests. Like okay. you will. I, I found a zone. I found a zone. I can go to Fairless. I, I apologize. There's one. There's one zone for me at level forty four to go to right now. Okay. Are and you, I hope are it gets you, me half a level horde? to get to forty five. Huh? Are you horde? I'm horde. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of quests for like not a lot, but there's there's quests. There's half a dozen great quests to do right there in yeah, Fairless they, straight off the bat. And they kill yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. mob so quests. So I'll, I'll go there. Um, I'll go there. I was looking at all the other zones. I looked at STV Hinterlands. Uh, I just finished doing all the quests in Tenaris that I could. So I was like, "Fuck, where am I going to go?" So without that fifty percent XP boost, I really would have felt like fucked. I'm yeah. glad that that's in you, there. You should be doing green quests the whole time. Like, it's all green quests all the way, green baby. Green quests? Yeah, that, that's... Uh, no, are you serious? That's actually what you do. No, you need to be doing green quests. 
That's Feels that's how you level. I like the yellow orange. Like no, red no, no, no. is usually too hard. That's Green the trap. Is just piss that's easy. the trap. You, you and all the vanilla like long time vanilla players are nodding along with me right now. It's like, mate, stick to the greens. Trust me. Um, We've, um back you up on the green thing. Uh... Sorry, sorry. Go. Who's that? Is that red? Go for it. Yeah, I was no, saying to back you up on the green. Go, go, red, go, red. Oh, Keep just, going. Just, you hear me? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, he's still um, to to back you up on the green quest last night, I did all green quests in two hours. I got two and a half levels. There you go. Sorry, um, uh, Zunda, were you saying something? Oh, he's not. I had him muted because. Oh right. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I took off. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Red. I had you on server mute because you went full bro robot before. Um, no, it's okay. I was driving to the country. Verse, uh dungeon versus questing thing mm. so that's something that i don't really see or hear mentioned that often is that world questing like it's been alluded to it's unchanged 2019 genuinely brought the dungeon spam meta to life no one in 2004 went into sm with a min maxed party like malik leave specifically we're in bis loot we're going to do 12 minute fucking cath runs as level 38 or whatever no one was doing that so it was actually fun i remember when it was happening people were like this is wicked bro ain't no one smashed sm like we're smashing it right now so that was something new and cool in old content then now we get like these incursions this is new and cool and the most efficient so that's why we do it this whole we need to make questing better you can give it fucking twice as much xp I'm not going to go get Andre's fucking head in Tanaris for the 59th time since 2004. They need to make questing yeah, no, 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 new but and cool in some way to give it an appeal I, I over agree. the new no, and cool but I, of Here's where I'll jump in. I disagree because you would to break, and you wouldn't ubiquitous because you and I have worked out yesterday. You and I are incredibly fucking different players. You wouldn't. Most players would because it breaks up the monotony. People need things to keep them sane in these long, long gaming sessions. I am one of these players. You know, I was getting a little bit sick of Nightmare Incursions after hour six. As I, as I do... I don't, I don't think that you can plan the, the levelling around our launch day experiences because in an MMO, you'd only ever have one anyway. This is Sods and Anomaly where we've, we're getting four or five. Mm. But to you can't build your entire one to 60 experience around how players are going to feel when they're going to play 16 hours. Cause they're only, no, 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 I get that. But my point so, doesn't, my point doesn't just relate to a 16 hour session. My point relates to even, let's say the dad who puts in, you know, one hour a day, th one hour a day, three or four days a week to level. This is it equally applicable to them because at a certain point, they're not going to want to log on to do the same fucking thing that they did five times earlier in the week. To. It's, it's perfectly there. Yeah. I'm, 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 this is my counterpoint to why questing isn't the meta and it will never be unless they make a whole new questing world because it will never be as new and cool as doing nine minute armory runs or 180k an hour incursions with the boys questing will never be as fun you don't quest in five man parties very often it leaves you exposed to getting griefed there needs to be a whole fucking overhaul which lots of people have said like overhaul the fuck but that's not going to happen we're not going to get it so it kind of annoys me like we keep going back you hate the utopia about gold I hate the utopia about questing. No, so I, I disagree. Now, I, I agree and disagree with you on this one because I'm on the record many, many times saying that we're fucking sick of doing the same old questing thing because we've done it a thousand times, which is still my... Absolutely, I stand by it. Like, if, if, uh, if zero experience buff was in the game... And it was just kind of like, go out and quest, guys. Like, I'm fucking over it. I've done a thousand characters. I'm in no way, shape, or form interested. I agree with you there. But I won't go as far as demonizing the vanilla leveling experience and saying, oh, it's shithouse. These quests are shit. Going out and doing quests is fucked. It's, you know, there's so many, you know, more fun ways to do it. I disagree. I adore questing in vanilla. I, you know, I, I do it solo more often than not. I don't group up for quests. I, I have so much fun putting on some music, chilling out and doing vanilla quests. Now, my point is that like I've done it a thousand times and I'm over it, but that doesn't water down the fact that, you know, once upon a time, I, you know, I still agree that they're fucking amazing. My point is 
they need to exist or be like desirable to go to or you need to push players to go to them for the point of mixing it up like but players how do they how do they do that do they just do they just patch tomorrow quests give three times more xp like the actual reward so that now you don't you don't dungeon grind because it doesn't affect killing mobs. They already get. They've got the experience buff in the game. Quests give fifty percent more experience. It's there. Yeah, but so do like that. That's experience gains. All yeah, and three hundred percent more. Yeah, that also works in incursions. Yeah, it works in incursions. Yeah, yeah. So you cap the incursions quest and force them back out into questing in the world. Yeah, but that's that's. I guarantee. Go a grand patch world quest for fifty percent XP. I'm gonna level all my ults in your incursions, bud. No, but and so I will think 80% of the server. Yeah, so I, will 80% of the server. Because I, it's I new and that's, cool. It's, that's, no, I don't you're, 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 you're not... No, 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 back. Fuck, fuck off. Fuck off. Wait, wait, sorry, sorry, guys. Good. Ubiquitous. Ubiquitous. I've, I've got to launch in on this. I'm going hammer. I'm going to fucking go in on you in this one because I'm not sure if you're picking out what I'm putting down. I'm saying, but this is why... I don't get what your point you just made. I'm saying limit the Nightmare Incursion quest. And you're saying if there's no limits, all you're going to do is, li is level in Nightmares, which is what we did yesterday. I get that. So I'm not sure what you're saying. Say it again. Yeah, but you're asking you're asking for like four changes to get to where you want the game to be to make people to quest. If they limit incursions, then and make questing out in the world better. No, no they, they don't. I'm not asking. I'm not asking for any changes to questing in the world. That don't change a fucking thing. There's a fifty percent experience. They, if bar. they cap in incursions, no shit, you're going to go do fucking world quest if you play for ten hours. If they cap incursions, though, from I'm already fifty, I'll just play one inc incursion visit at a time on my alts. I'm not going to go fucking do Tanaris for the 75th time on... But you will because you're a fucking sweat lord min-maxer that has to get to 50 immediately and you will go but do I already it already got takes. to 50. No, but on, if, if you didn't... You, that's Of course, you know, you've got your no, character to 50. I'm if not, you hadn't already you, gotten your character to 50. How long... I only got my two other 40s to 40 in the last nine days before Phase 3 dropped. I'm clearly not that sweaty at leveling. No, but we're, we're talking about level. a hypothetical where if you were doing this on your main from day one. Yeah, well, that, no, that's what I just said. If it was, if I was forced to, what, do you think I was going to log on on launch day and do my daily incursion and then log off? No, then I would go do quests for my main. Exactly, would that's I my be, whole, that's my whole I, point. But would I be happy? Would I have been happier to go to Tanaris and do it for the 76th time more than getting to do the new thing that they just gave me? But, oh, fuck. They only let me do it for an hour on the first day. Now I have to go get Andre's fucking head again. No, I would be pissed off if I had to just, if I found this cool new toy on launch day and it's like, ah, oh, back to 2004. Yeah, so this is my I, point where, where we're very different players and where I, I sort of, I will say a big fuck you to your point because what I'm saying is if we gave, if I gave you, all right, again, the smorgasbord and I go ubiquitous, here's two to three hours in the nightmare incursion okay, you had a lot of fun. Great. We are going to cap you there. You can come back tomorrow. Here's, you know, five dungeons. That gets you, you this know, is, three hours of gameplay in dungeons with your mates. Would, You've gotten would some you happily? Would you happily go from, like, if the incursion XP or nothing changed? So you go into an incursion and you get 1.4 levels. You're 41.4 yeah. if you had a good run out. Yeah. In 36 minutes is some of my rested xp fucking clock time yeah, yeah yeah and now it is go to tanaris and you might get from 41.4 to 42 in the next two hours because the mm. zone will be fucked out with fifty thousand fucking players yes i because would be annoyed he, and he, i would be no, annoyed no, no, because you're a fuckhead because you're a fuckhead min maxer that can only fucking no. stare at two hundred thousand xp why, per hour as the only way to play the game I would, if you if you put that in, I would rather no incursions at all give any XP whatsoever, and it's just a level fifty rep grind. No, I just, mate, I love you. You, you I, are a certain why, kind of player, though. Why, yeah, you why, be, why, but, no, but why would you want an hour? Like, why would you want one level in thirty minutes, and then the next level, the next level to take three hours, yeah, and but, then the level after that to take an hour? But I why just, can't I would you rather see... be more rough than that than to get hot, cold, hot, cold. But you can't see the forest for the trees where, like, you're going out and seeing a world, you're seeing different content, you're varying it up, you it's lo and behold, new. fuck, you're it's on it. You're content. on a... P well, yeah, no, I get that it's not new, but you know what is new? The PvP fights that happen when you go and do those quests, that's new content. That's no, snowflake can't. material where not one is like the other. Mind you, if this is all factoring in, then I'm guessing you're locking me to five dungeon lockouts for the day. Fucking oath I am. Like, Fucking yeah, oath well, I am. Like, 
This is just the slow everyone down fucking... Yeah, fucking oath we are. And we're saving the players from the cell so that not would, everyone is level fucking happily, 50 after five hours. I will happily go and quest in the world if there is even the slightest hint more than, ooh, I pickpocketed a pirate and I gave the medallion to a guy in Steamweedle for a rune. If there was just a, anything more than that that was new out there to do instead of the exact yeah, same quest. I, but I'm not saying if they bring in new quests, brilliant. That would be like, I fucking I've, love new quests. I reckon I've done, I reckon I've done Tanaris more times threefold than I've even done incursions, and we've done fucking 100 incursions no, already. And I agree with you, but like I say, the sting is taken away from the 100th time I'm doing the Tanaris quest because I've gotten to spend two hours of my day in new content with the Nightmare incursion. So whilst I'm kind of like, oh, God, here we go, Tanaris again, I've still had dungeons with the boys. You know, that's all new stuff in terms of it's not new content, but it's going to be a new conversation with the boys. Oh, Voodoo's tanking today. He doesn't normally tank. It's, it's you know, you have a beer, have a bit of fun, whatever. Amazing, then you go and do your nightmare incursions. That is brand spanking new content. We all get to go like, oh, wow, look at this. Oh, and then like, fuck, boys, you know, we're the sweat lords who are doing a fucking all day session. We've been playing for four to five hours. Now, I guess we'll go do three hours worth of quote unquote old content. But hey, you know what? We're on a PvP server. Let's go have some PvP fun. That'll be new. That'll spice it up a bit. I, I can I can see Ubi's um, point with with how he thinks about leveling. He obviously wants to be 50 straight up. We all know that. He wants to be 50 within half an hour. No, but, I wouldn't. I wouldn't choose to be fifty and a half an hour. Well, you want to get kind of, that, but that's what you're advocating for. There's nothing. There's nothing opinion. wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I think the the players that some of us are is that I don't care if it takes me a week to get to fifty. I just want something to do that's different all the time. Like I didn't. I, I did like the incursions and I like being in there and getting fifty straight away, or whatever. But I would have much preferred that journey take a bit longer and i had to go to different places and just you know fuck around for a little bit ubiquitous also like what you're saying just like can't possibly be true i mean i played p servers i played 2019 vanilla on eu and na i've played these this game a million times and i've probably done the firebeard quest 20 times i've had a lot of characters and i have done the new quests from emerald nightmare about the same number of times and the content's been out less than 48 hours it's just i can't i mean if it's what you enjoy it's what you enjoy but if your argument is that like a meta of just doing repetitive content is more enjoyable than questing like i don't personally see it because he's, the he's level of very so anyway it's, it's, so it's, it's still new that's the thing like this is new yeah but it's already it's boring yeah. For some people, yeah. For some people, it can be boring. But if you go to, like, I, sorry, I just won't relate. Jesus Christ, lads, I don't like going to crossroads. <laughs> you just go there because it's the only fucking yeah, but town. Yeah, to be to more, be fair, you, to be fair, you because so I'm launching in on you, but fucking, you know, I love you, mate. So please don't take any of this personally. No, I'm not, I'm not that rolled up. It's just a good chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah but but like, to, I can't understand. to what you just said, exactly on your point of like, oh my god, if I have to go to fucking crossroads one more fucking time, the very fair question to retort rather fucking venomously with is, why the fuck did you start playing this game then? No. Like, it's okay that got him. it's there. Fucking I'm, I'm, got him. It, it's okay <laughs> that Crossroads is there. It has to be there. I'm not here saying, let me buy a level 50 boost or anything. I don't skip into Crossroads anymore, though. But I'm happy to play the game because I know I'm going to have fun when I do get to 50. No, no, no. But it, you, your process. overall point is you are beyond over vanilla content. So why did you start playing Sod? No, you're, now, you, you're, now, you're, now you're, you. trying to, you're trying to get the no, twist. No, 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 I'm you're not lawyering you. Though. You fucking said it. No. He's done uh, this before, Ubi. Okay, so why do you guys play Sod? Do you just play it for... Do you do you just play it so you can quest in... The classic content. ...for the 30th time? All right, well then, don't log on. You're out of classic content. Anything at 50 is new, so don't log on anymore, Voodoo, mate. No, no, no. Yeah, that's, that's, it, you, it, that's, it's that's, it's that's still the same. Horrible like, perversion the, of our that's point. That's fair, though. That's the to thing. To be fair, like, though, when, when I heard they were going to release Season of Discovery, I was expecting more open world content, whether it be uh, new quests, new open world mobs, and it seems like 
the the new stuff that they've added is runes, some new uh, raids, and uh, some instances, which I'm not scoffing at. I'm happy for new content, but I was I was expecting more open quest, uh, more quest chains, or you know, different. Don't forget, quests. you can get a sleeping bag. <laughs> yeah, like I I only play sod for the new stuff. It's season of discovery. I'm here to discover the new thing. Yeah, and that's fine. I don't, I don't care about my seven. No, 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 no. But, but that's road. fine. But you went work. in knowing it was going to be mixed in with the old. So we're both playing for I'm, this. Well, I thought we were both playing for the same reason. Where I'm like, I'm ready for a new spin on my favorite old game that involves the old with the new being blended together, and I drink that milkshake. If you're like, I only play for new content, and I fucking hate vanilla. Wow, that's a little weirder no, in my mind. No, I don't, dude. I've leveled probably just as much as you have. I don't mind it. But when there's two options, when there is yeah. this, uh, like every buff that they've brought into leveling, love it. Don't take it away from yeah, me, please. Yeah. Because I like just questing. I'll go through fucking barons at 300% speed mm. and go, thank fuck, I got out of here three times quicker. Mm. Love it. And like, I, but that's I fine. I'm not that's sitting fine. here saying remove this from the game. No, no, I'm not saying you're I saying I am that. more excited. I'm more excited for Sunken Temple tenfold than this fucking incursion. But the incursion was, it's a its a double whammy. Yeah. I got to level quick and it was new. And I'm I, happy. I agree new content is good. I thought you were saying something different. But if your spin, is, sorry, if your take is, if, what I thought no, you were saying, no, 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 wait. What I thought you were saying is what it sounded like you were fucking throwing out there is if I have to look at the Barons one more time, I'm going to vomit. Like I, I no, you know what I mean? I do it if I have to do it because it's there to be done. If you guys are making it out like I'm saying, draw a circle around the incursion portal and delete Azeroth. I just want this incursion and I want Sunken Temple. Fuck the rest of the game. No, it's just that this got me to 50 of the fastest and it was new. Yeah, so while, level, have, while leveling, you did want that circle drawn. I would I would have done this if it was half as quick. I would have rather have yeah, done yeah, this but, but, eight but hours that's exactly my point. than to quest. That's exactly my point. You're saying while, while leveling, the important words, while leveling, you do want that circle drawn. No, oh. not necessarily. I'll do what's faster that is also more fun. If John's CF got gave, a pretty good point there. Like, I'd do ZF if it was 500% XP because then the speed <laughs> outweighs the dopamine. Like, <laughs> Ubiquitous, this nightmare incursion is tearing us apart. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, punchy. Can't you see this uh, nightmare I, I, incursion I, guessing game is tearing us apart. I know, punchy. <laughs> let's throw it to you, mate. You might be team ubiquitous in, in on this one. I'm not sure. Say what you want to say, mate. Um, man, look, no, no, no wait, still Pun feel punchy, weird Marcus, about you it, right? Punchy, punchy's the boy. Bring him in on it. He'll have a good hot take. I, just, I, 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 I don't want to seem like I'm running away, but I am running out of time to hang around. <laughs> and I would like to just say, I'm actually a very good You're goddamn world. coward. I'm a, I'm a very good world leveler, and you could have been dinging every ninety minutes probably with this questing buff. But so it's completely viable, lads. If you love that fucking Tanaris trip for the 77th time, it's there for you. This is my else fucking is point. You can, probably quest, you can probably quest quite quick. This is my fucking point. You only think and speak in min-max terms of time to level and efficiency no, but if that's, and all that if that's shit. What's, if that's what you're happy to do. like, So if you love... like, You're the one that's <laughs> saying that time doesn't matter. Then if you like questing, go fucking quest, Josh. You should have told me four hours earlier that you were sick of incursions, and I would have said, well, I'm not sick of them. Go quest. And Go that's take why... four times longer if you don't care about time. And that's why I'm but... going to quest on my old. Like, we he's were, check... we there, were checking out the new thing. No, no, he's right. We were checking out the new thing, and we did it for, like, hours, and we're like, holy shit, this is new. We're finding out the new quest. We're getting gold. This is great. Oh, I woke up the next second, and I'm level 50. That is fair, but we, we did... SM, we did mix it up. I got what I wanted out of the day. We did SM runs. Then we did a Noma run. Then we did Nightmare Incursions. I got my it's fucking breakfast, a, lunch, and dinner in terms of you wanna, content. You want to know how much of an alien I am that you don't, like, you all think I'm so min max. Do you know how my other two rogues leveled from 25 to 40 explicitly? Here we go. I killed mobs. I didn't I even fucking quest. I literally just ground mobs. So I didn't even dungeon grind. I didn't do quests, and I didn't get boosted. 
how fucking weird is that? I was out there just enjoying those nagas on the beach in Hillsbrad for fucking five levels. I love you. you clearly, because. clearly, I, you. I hate the open world, but I literally I just killed you. mobs. There. All the boys are going to come to your defense. Punchy's going to come to your defense. Wonder's coming to your defense. And I get it. Sweat Lords fucking hate me when I bring this shit up because this is just like passes, the, just what I was alluding to. Yeah, passes. Fucking don't get me starting on, on started on passing. That's a fucking another episode <laughs> passing, on its own. But so oh, I get that the sweaters and a lot of my passes. mates are sweaters, and I get that they fucking hate me because everyone launches into this. Don't you fucking tell me how to have fun and get in the way of my. Fear. Efficiency. I fucking get it. We're very different players. Punchy, are you there, mate? Send him to Naris, Punchy. Send him down there. I just want to, just want to say one thing, that Nightmare Recursions are fucking Outworlds questing. They're what? They're Outworld questing. No, I... So I... I agree. I, I said the same thing. I said the same thing to Ubiquitous yesterday. This is literally just another zone of questing. But, I mean, we can all understand the, you know, subtle differences in terms of repeatable quests, the same thing we're doing over and over again. It's definitely not the same thing. The biggest, the biggest difference is, and I put it in the chat, I don't know, is that the quest is, is like a hub. It is, it is a new world of questing. It is, you know, Dragonflight style questing. It's one fucking quest giver, and then a shitload of quests in one area that is very fucking close by. And it is the downtime in between, and like, you know, old world questing, that is the slow part of So the people that are like, going, oh, you know, this is too easy, blah, blah, blah. It is easy, because it's all packed nice and neatly in one little package, rather than, you know, a one quest line that sends you to four different fucking zones. Yeah, I, and I'd be more inclined to, and I've I've raised that point, going like this is just like Hellfire. This is no different. We're all the whole service converging on one small area. I get that. the The elephant in the room is the whole point that this is season of discovery and like the rune system and everything. And do do they, you know, is it awkward with them sort of living side by side? Season of discover the meta, brother. Yeah, and you, you because you, you fucking, you know, you, I can hear the fucking tongue in cheek. You know exactly what you're doing. You know that, you know that both of us are right for different reasons. So I lovingly say, go fuck yourself. <laughs> you know, you know, brother. Um, Boys, uh, anyone, look, Ubiquitous and I have just dominated the conversation for the last like half an hour or so. Anyone else, please, I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything that we just went back, went back and forth on. I wish you was less quests i mean i i think it's just i i'm bored i'm utterly bored of this after 45 minutes can't we just have one quest where i do something cool that I actually remember 12 minutes later and then go back and give it mm. hand in the quest mm. hey um marcus i cut you off before sorry mate what, what were you saying I, I think a lot of it speaks to is like what is your win condition um so for some people that's to get to level 50 as fast as possible for me my win condition is hanging out with the boys without um new content just tearing our friend group apart <laughs> but i mean like i had fun yesterday um i'm probably still going to have fun in nightmare incursions when the when the planets align or whatever you know but i i kind of side a little bit with shagger um beside the world pvp that's going to happen there mm. um i'm going to find it a little bit boring mm. My um, I just want to say one more thing before I go. I might throw it to you next, mate. So get yourself ready. Um, I, I guess the one thing I really want people to take away from my very spirited back and forth there with Ubiquitous. And by the way, guys, like I know, I just want to double down on this. You guys know this. Ubiquitous and I are friends. Like the reason I can fucking get riled up like that and speak like that is because I know that he can handle it and he knows that I can handle it. So oh, he did that's some. how he talks like, to his in between. Yeah, <laughs> but he like us all like that. Yeah, um, I do. I, I I yell at the boys all the time. No, but um, you could hear a few tears, a few tears from both of us. Yeah. Um, what I'm what the ultimate takeaway I want people to draw from that is that. I'm saying that there's so much content in this game. Like, this is a massively multiplayer online game. And the massively doesn't necessarily just have to relate to the amount of players playing the game. It can also relate to the amount of content in the game. We talk about all the, the ways in which you can interact with this game. So, like, I, I get a little bit riled up when these leveling metas do pop up. And it's like, my, my point is, let's 
have the devs put up the 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 invisible walls that push people to consuming all of the content. And I keep using that term, the smorgasbord. I want the all you can eat buffet of all the players. Yeah, I'm sorry, kind of being forced to take in all this amazing content that was designed 20 years ago. There's a huge world out there. Go out there and see it all. It's beautiful. As opposed to having a meta develop where we do just see one thing through a leveling experience. I just think it's a bit of a shame. And I, I think that's the takeaway from what I'm saying here. Go, mate, surely you've heard something that you wanted to weigh in on, on the back and forth there is we had one of us saying, you know, leveling in season of discovery, leveling in a nightmare incursion from 40 to 50 is a bit weird versus no, it's good new content. We should be able to live here. Uh, it, it should be the optimal way to level, I think, for sure, because it is the new meta. So uh, I would prefer it to be uncapped XP-wise per hour, per day, whatever. And uh, yeah, we should be encouraged to go there. And if you want to level a little bit slower doing the old known way of leveling, then sure, go out and mm. do it. Mm. Fair enough. And again, I, I'm, I'm going to double down. I'm not saying don't send people there. It's obviously new content. It's designed to have us see it. My whole point is the leveling aspect. If people want to get their rep, spend all day in there for rep, fucking do your thing. But let's say, I don't know, if you want to level in my game that I designed, the good thing I'm not a game designer, you wouldn't be able to level the whole way in the Nightmare Incursion. Um, now, and again, it's like, it's it's... 10 hours of the people are getting very bent out of shape out of 10 hours that I'm talking about of leveling here. But anyway, um, anyone else shock, anyone, anyone else want to weigh in before we change the subject? No, that's I okay. Yeah, go, got man. too boring, too fast. It got too boring, too fast. Yeah. I, it's I, like I, I'm I running in a fucking loop, just, uh, picking shit up, you know, right. I'm sure there's ways to make it fun, but that was the fastest way to do it, and it was right. just like. Uh... Mm. Well, whatever happens, I find a, I find that you can, you know, have fun, you know, taking advantage of the fact that everyone's in in the zone. You know, go out into the open world and mine all the true silver or mine all the uh, rich thorium veins. Like, you can still kind of have fun in the world, no matter what the meta is. In my opinion, unless it's broken. Um, Things I have to empty my quest book to even take part in it. <laughs> Yeah, I dropped like four that, quests that I don't issue. think I'll ever find again. <laughs> I think another aspect of it is that uh, I, I can sort of see Josh's side where it's like um, you, you don't, it's boring in a sense that you don't see the foul trick that we're used to seeing by leveling it out in the old, the quote unquote, old, old world, where you get loot, you get gear, you can you know, sort of uh, start out of that like fight or flight sort of response where with these incursions you just don't get that you just run and laps laps and laps hmm. I, I think the the i think a lot of people are disheartened by the lack of incursion that these incursions are doing for their you know perspective on their game and how they want to play so i think i think people are generalizing a lot when it's a little bit deeper than what people seem to think it is hmm. Fair enough. Boys, um, fuck, I've, I've had all my energy zapped from yelling at poor Ubiquitous for fucking half an hour. Um, there must be something we've missed. Is there anything new in Phase 3 that we haven't discussed yet? We've talked about the raid, and apparently now Aranicus has been downed as we've been recording. About 20 minutes ago, a guild got him down. Uh, Arcos didn't say who. I presume it was Nota, but I don't actually... Does anyone know what's happened there in Sunken Temple? Nota, Nota got them. Okay. So Nota has now cleared the raid. So here we are, uh, 28 hours after release and Aranicus is down. So there you go. And we, we literally said live in the podcast, as soon as a nerf goes live, the first guild to get in there, we'll get it down. And Nota was on it as soon as the nerf went out. So and that's bullshit. The boys, <laughs> the boys are all over it. Um, they might not have ever left. I don't actually know, but they uh, black screened for the last six hours of their progression last night, and as far as anyone knows, just kept progressing it. So hmm. they um, were they were definitely they were in there for like I want to say almost twelve hours. Yeah, 
Um, I I'll just I'll end my point. Sneaky Bards probably put it better than me. I'll end I'll end the point I've been raising on this one comment from Sneaky Bard, just saying, look, to be honest, the and I I wouldn't say it maybe as harshly as this, but I, I don't know what he's saying. The devs are to be blamed for basically the confliction between the whole the world is the main character comment now you know having to compete with this new sealed away content as a small pocket of the world that everyone is going to and i'm slightly paraphrasing sneaky's point there but that that that's what i've been getting at the whole time is like i said i really want to promote people to think about this and i'm not necessarily asking for drastic change i'm just saying so throwing food for thought out there on like what is sod all about that that's the question to be asked is the world the main character or are we sort of now throwing that away to push people into one small corner of the world for the the meta of leveling i don't, I don't know it's, it's you know i'm not that bent out of shape about it but it's just something to chew on and think about um all right guys anything else that i forgot i think we've pretty much covered it all is there any like gear sorry sorry someone yeah. gonna raise something go for it mate yeah it's like like 10 minutes ago maybe 20 um another news came out that uh brd the second half of brd is actually locked so you can't get past the grim Gus. oh there you go there you go so unfortunately people can't try to take down emperor whether or not i mean they would have tried but you couldn't equip the gear or anything we presumed oh there you, you go you couldn't yeah. equip the gear of the first part either because Right, I mean, the right. arena gear is like 40, uh, 52, something like that. Gotcha. Hey, Jar, sorry, you were going to say something, mate? Oh, just like the some of the welfare gear sets. Um, what do you reckon about them? Like, you ding 60 and you can just equip a full, um, if you've done the incursions for any length of time, you can equip a full kind of set of pretty good gear. It's like a six piece set. Um, I was looking at it and I'm like, would it replace my Noma gear? I'm full bis. My pal, and I'm like, maybe, maybe it's just better. Oh, uh, yeah, I haven't someone it. was saying it's like 4% crit and a percent hit, and like a bunch of the Nomer stuff doesn't even. I haven't Just seen it. Straight up, not enough stam on it for what it was designed <laughs> for. for right? Um, I mean, like, yeah, not only the meme, the hideous John meme, but um, there's not enough stamina on it for what it was designed for. I still think well, PvP is going to be like it could be, It could be like PvE previous. And then, but it's meant for PvP, isn't well, it? Very yeah, well, I just don't want to get into the spot where it's like retail, where literally the patch comes out and you just refresh your gear. It's like all your gear is obsolete and that's GG. I don't want to do that either, bro. Like, I'm with you on that one. Um, I would have liked to have seen a little bit less offensive stats and more stam just to make that uh, entry-level PvP gear fit for purpose because currently it's not. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's a whole kind of worms with, you know, uh, dividing up PvP and PvE gear. I I think it was a bad idea. To, I mean, it inevitably is going to be viable for PvE, and that kind of cuts into the dungeon loot that uh, Josh spoke about before. And so I, I don't see the point of it. If it were, if in vanilla you can't have pure PvE, PvP gear because there is no resilience. So, yeah, why why make it worse and have adding more gear? All right, boys. Look, I'm. Uh, we might start to wrap it up there, unless there's something that we drastically have to, to talk about, and you know, um, that must be talked about now rather than in five or six days' time. Let me know. Um, but I'm going to. We're three hours deep. You guys have been fucking brilliant. Um, I'm going to either go uh get some gear on my rogue and do some fuck around pvp on day two or Ooh. um or level the shaman it depends if, if hunk hits me up because poor hunk the poor bastard i feel so bad for him what happened to him oh uh, mate i think he got caught up at work um he he didn't log on all night so i presume he had a kind of a day at work the poor bastard um so I, i'm guessing he's gonna wake up soon and and probably want to level so if he hits me up I'll, I'll muck around with him and level my shaman if he doesn't i'll i'll try and do some pvp shenanigans on the rogue and and maybe get some dungeon gear if there's anything worth chasing so i'll see how i go easy see you on yeah boys let's say our goodbyes thank you so much Wacklow, you're a fucking legend thanks mate thanks for having me as always always a pleasure shagger thanks so much again brother you too see you around punchy mate thanks for calling in from the road that's all right i'm always happy
that's the way. Ja, mate, it was great to get you on the show, brother. Cheers, guys. Have a good one. Uh, shock, mate. I fucking love you. Gildy here. Thanks, mate. Cheers for having me. No worries, mate. Marcus. Mate, um, it's always a pleasure to be here, especially with guys like Ja in the call. Um, I think he's a testament to you can't always judge a paladin by the low busy ganks. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> that is correct. He fucking ganked me yesterday, the freak. We haven't talked about it yet. I'm at the fucking quest giver for the nightmare incursions. And we talk, we've talked all the boys for like 15 minutes like, wow, nobody's PvPing. Look at this armistice between the Horde and Alliance. And this paladin emerges from the pack and just beelines it towards me. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, look at this fucking rogue dog. Here we go. And it's fucking, I see the name straight away and it's Jar. He just blows me up as I've got my dick in my hands. Um, and yeah, he DMs me and lets me know about it afterwards. Thanks for that, mate. <laughs> that's, that's all right. Just saying hi. <laughs> just saying hi, yeah. Voodoo, mate. Thanks so much for coming on. Always, mate. Love to be here. That's the way. And go, mate, you know I love you. I'm sorry that I keep sort of grabbing your comments and going, Oi, listen here, prick. I'm going to fucking say something about that. Mate, it's always a pleasure having you here. Oh, uh, dude, I, I love it. And uh, I think it's just because I am a solo player trying to play an MMO that my take is usually not met with, uh, like, an agreement right away. So it's, it, it's I, all I love good. speaking it out. It's all good, mate. I was that guy for many years, and I'm only slowly coming out of that shell now to learn how to actually play with mates, make friends, and uh, grow a heart. So, yeah, you'll you'll get there one day, mate. <laughs> I, I just want to stay in the attic for a couple more years, and then Fair maybe enough. I'll come downstairs for dinner. Fair enough. You, you get to the point. You'll be you'll be getting out getting out there and getting shit faced with the guildies in no time. Like uh, we're due That's for it. round two soon, shock. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, this time I'm I'm not driving. So yeah, that's the rule. Get ready. That's the rule. No one's driving except for Voodoo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Him and his go kart. <laughs> All right, boys, we'll end it there.